Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Matt Chat, episode 473, featuring a look at the game Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Now this game just popped out September 2nd. I'm just now really getting a chance to dive in. And this video is basically the first four hours or so, and you can get a pretty good sense, I think, of how it's shaping up, whether it's something uh, that interests you. It's uh, $49.99 on uh, Steam and GOG. Uh, take your pick, same price. And there's a couple of different editions with some uh, soundtracks and game items and so on and so forth <laughs> uh, for $69, and then there's one for $98. Uh, but short of it is, I really, really enjoyed the, at least the parts I've played so far. I'm definitely not stopping here. I'm going to uh, continue on. Uh, but just for the sake of getting a video out, uh, I wanted to uh, uh, put this one out today. Uh, simply put, if you like the first game, I don't know how you could go wrong here. Uh, you, you definitely want to give this game a hard look. Uh, if uh, you're on the fence, you know, well, you know, watch this video. <laughs> I try to go over uh, what I like in a... Uh, Tell you the truth, there's not a whole lot I don't like about the game, at least so far. It's got a lot of, uh, seems to have a lot going for it. Uh, anyway, we've got a lot to cover here, so without further ado, here is Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. All right, folks, let's get this party started. going to be taking a look here today at a game called Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Just came out. What is this? September 2nd, 2021 here on Steam. Alcat Games, of course. And I, I covered the previous game a couple different videos. Uh, remember that one? They started off with the real-time with pause combat. Basically, uh, something like Neverwinter Nights. And um, the cool thing was they released a turn-based version. And uh, I like that turn-based version so much I went back and actually played and finished the game. Uh, there was a lot of complaints in that first game about the kingdom management. I agree with that. Just kind of ruined the pace of the game. Uh, that was really, the, I think, the biggest fault most people had with it. Of course, some people were fine with it. You know how that goes. Uh, but the first game, I really liked the. Um, uh, I thought it had a good mix of complexity. It was really fun to get in and work with the numbers and you know try to create good characters. I felt like it was very versatile. You know, you could create characters that. Uh, uh, really sort of unique you know i hadn't played the character i'm trying to remember what the, what it was called kind of a wizard mage fighter type class it was fun to play <laughs> uh and then you had a lot of options along the way so it kind of made it interesting all the way through the game at the uh the leveling process now this i i tried to do, uh, not really look at too many other reviews of the game I like to go in kind of fresh because it is a you know, as you know, if you review games <laughs> or read them, uh, there tends to be, a, I think, a bias towards uh, being a little too optimistic about games when they first come out. You know, you got all that media hype and the buzz, and everybody's talking about it. Everybody's excited about it, so the reactions tend to be extreme one way or the other, right? <laughs> you got people will say, oh, this is the worst game ever, you know, and then other people will be saying, you know, this is right up there with, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> Jesus Christ RPG. You know, look at this, 9.5 out of 10. How, how could they possibly know that 8.8? .8, I mean, this is just kind of meaningless. T to me, a, a review at this stage is just kind of meaningless because of that. Uh, on the one hand, the media hype factor and the, the fact that now the, all the marketing dollars are being spent and they're really trying to court reviewers. I mean, <laughs> putting all that aside, you just have to let games uh, stand the test of time. You know, if we come back to this a year from now and people are still talking about it and there's a pretty good community around this Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous, then you'll know it's a good game. If you come back and it's crickets and nobody really cares and everybody's moved on to something else and there's no, you know, patches or updates or interest in the game, well, then you can, then you can say it was not so great. You know, I remember... For, uh, one of the games that, remind, that I reminded of was uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, I believe. Right? <laughs> Everybody was just so obsessed. It was the best game ever. Who even cares now? I, I never hear the damn thing even mentioned uh, anywhere. So that's kind of a long-winded 
prologue to this. Let's get in and see what they say here on the uh, Steam Store page about it. Well, they really want me to look at that broadcast. Let's see. Discover the story. Your path will lead you to the world wound, where the opening of a rift to the abyss has unleashed all consuming terror across the land. For over a century, the neighboring nations have fought fearlessly, trying to drive the enemy back, but to little avail. A little bit about the story. Let's see. Play your hero your way. Create any character imaginable with the flexibility, richness, and depth of the Pathfinder First Edition rule set. Now, i got to admit, I'm not too familiar, other than playing these games with the Pathfinder system. You know, the to the extent I play tabletop, it's always the 5th uh, Edition. Played a little bit of AD&D, but not enough to <laughs> say much about it. Uh, so I, I'll just have to go with what they're saying here. I'm not even sure how many. I guess there must be at least a second edition if they're emphasizing first edition here. So uh, I don't know. Choose from 25 classes, 12 character races, and more than a thousand... Wow. More than a thousand spells, feats, and abilities to suit your personal play style. <laughs> well, that sounds awesome. See, for every choice of consequence... Now, I did hear some people saying they didn't like this bit. I think some guy on uh, Twitter, on my Twitter page, was saying that this... I forget how he described it, like choice paralysis kept happening. You know, I guess he means that you can't decide what choice to make. Neither, one's, neither one is good. You know, writers and designers seem obsessed with this idea lately of putting players in these really difficult situations all the time, making it really hard to figure out where, where they want to go. <laughs> uh, does that make it more fun or not? I, I don't know. I guess they're going for liter literary merit or something. But we'll check that out as we go. A new way to fight. Enjoy two combat modes as you slay your enemies. Real time with pause or turn. Oh, turn back. Okay, so that's great. I don't know why they're saying new way to fight. That's a lie. <laughs> They had this in the previous game, after the uh, patch anyway. Switch between them on the fly. Now this, you know, what will, will be cool here, uh, that first game, remember they, they added that uh, turn-based stuff after the fact. So that kind of skewed or messed up some of the balancing a little bit with that because it's, it's frankly just different. It changes everything when you go to turn-based uh, a lot of the times, unless it's very well done, very intentional from the beginning, I think. So that'll be a big plus if they're able to balance it better where it really is more seamless experience going from the turn base to the real time. Uh, what else did they say there? I thought I saw mounted combat. The unique Pathfinder rule set also allows you to perform advanced combat maneuvers like mounted combat. Use them wisely. So that'll be interesting. You know, another fun thing I, I didn't really play around with too much last time there's a lot of feats and stuff that have to do with multiple characters. So, you like everybody, if you put two characters with, this, with the same feat together, you know, they can get some uh, advantages that way. Uh, I think I'll purposefully really try to exploit that in this game. Because it was just something I didn't really explore all that much previously, but supposedly was a lot of fun. Let's see. Gather your party. A cast of more than 10 unique companions is ready to join your cause. Earn their trust and respect. And they will have your back no matter what dangerous line ahead. And if you get on their bad side, well, maybe it's time to part ways. Leave the crusade. Okay, choose your path. Nine unique mythic paths. Obtain extraordinary abilities and shape everything that comes next. Your decisions might transform you into a celestial angel, a raging demon, a powerful lich, a cunning trickster, an otherworldly Aeon, a rebellious Azada, a wise gold dragon, an insatiable swarm that walks. Hmm. An insatiable swarm that walks. That sounds promising. Or remain mortal and walk the arduous path towards becoming toward becoming a living legend. <laughs> Mature content description. The game contains scenes and text some people may find disturbing. Well, to hell with those people. Oh, man, they go on for... <laughs> what is this little disclaimer here? Uh, they are not graphically detailed. They are not... What's the, the scenes, I guess? They are not 
graphically detailed and presented from an isometric point of view, and most of them occur episodically. However, we consider it our duty to inform our players about them. You may see depictions of blood, <gasps> gore, <gasps> dismemberment, torture, slavery, and kidnapping. Oh my god, I can't play this. It also contains textual descriptions and mentions of abuse, child abuse, sexual abuse, sexual assault, self... Good God almighty! Self-harm, suicide, cannibalism, and miscarriage. Player <laughs> Discretion is advised. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Well, who's on this writing team? <laughs> I don't remember any of that stuff in the previous one. Maybe they've gone all controversial. Anyway, uh, they probably just put that there to cover their ass, but who knows? Uh, let's, uh, I think we've spent enough time on this page. I was trying to see what, what, what it's costing. It's 50 bucks to buy it now. So we'll see if that stays. We'll see how long it stays. 50, that's another good sign. If you come back in a few months and it's still 50, uh, then you know it's uh, a good game. But anyway, let me shut this down. Let's get the party going. Hopefully this will run seamlessly and we can uh, see what see what it's all about. All right, we're in the game. <clears throat> I had to download a little patch. <laughs> I guess it just came out a few hours ago. That's exciting. Pathfinders, the crusade has begun. Thank you for your support and hope you will have a truly mythic journey. Visit the support portal. The support portal. I <laughs> try saying that three times fast. <laughs> if you need any help. Okay, let's just go ahead and jump in here. Now, like I said, going in cold. I have, of course, played the previous game, but you're getting the initial reactions here in real time. We used to, unless if you're watching right now, which would be kind of kind of creepy. Otherwise, it's not real time; it's turn-based. See, we as developers are always striving to improve our work. <laughs> what is this? To do this, we need information that we can only get from you. By sending game statistics and bug reports to us, you can help us learn more about the way you play and what difficulties you encounter in our game. We want to watch you play. <laughs> Since this game is based on Unity, blah, 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 would you like to opt in to sending game statistics? By clicking OK, you confirm that you have read and agreed to the terms of the end user license agreement and privacy. You know, aren't you just so glad they brought all these lawyers in the games? I mean, isn't that just make it so much more fun? God, dog it! Right, what am I looking at here? Lovely art. You know the the music and the artwork so far have been exceptional. I mean, look at this painting here. I don't know if this is something they commissioned just for the game, or this is maybe from one of the Pathfinder books. But that is freaking awesome. <laughs> Wow, I'd love to have that in a frame sitting here in the bat cave somewhere. That is that is really good. I mean music too is just sounding like something you'd want to put up put in a you know in the background as you're doing some work. It almost has kind of a little bit of that Baldur's Gate vibe to it. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, anyway, let's see if we can actually get into the game. Uh, choose story. Main story. This must be one of those epic choices they talked about. I could either choose the main story <laughs> or not to play the game. <laughs> you know, obviously they'll fill this in as they get some DLC. Uh, join the struggle against the wound world, the world wound. The epic war between the Galorian and the Abyss that has raged for more than a hundred years. Up to now, the Crusader armies have barely managed to curb the overwhelming enemy forces, but not for much longer. The Demon Lords are preparing to strike a decisive blow. You will have to harness mythic powers, take command of the Fifth Crusade, and lead it against the Demonic Hordes. See? <laughs> Those good old Demonic Hordes. <laughs> Hopefully there's some rats along the Horde. Oh, good lord. This, you know, okay, this is... Path, this is starting to feel like Pathfinder here. Uh, what is it? 
Like, the difficulty! Selecting a difficulty if you got 30 choices. My. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> Oh my, you can't make this stuff up. Normal, daring, core, hard, <laughs> unfair. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, okay, ah. Uh. What's the difference between normal and... You know, I'm probably okay with the normal. It, it kind of bugs me that there's this many choices. I mean, can't you just balance your damn game? I mean, do I really have to go in and balance it for you? <laughs> no, I don't even know. Some of this stuff... Sometimes it's nice to be able to turn off the annoyances, but I don't know what those are yet. Auto level up. It says companions. What does this mean? Uh, auto level up companions. Toggles automatic leveling up for party members. When on, gaining levels happens automatically. And you can monitor how the hero's skills and abilities develop. Hmm. So I guess the choice here is if you want to manage your companions or just pretend like they're other, other players and let them do their own thing make their own poor choices. <laughs> Probably the best at this point, since you don't really know what you're walking into. Oh, look at this. Dead companions rise after combat. Neither your character nor your companions will ever die. They will only become unconscious and will rise after combat is over. You know, something like this is a tough call. You know, that's a good, probably good that they give you a choice on that. I know sometimes it just amounts to annoyances. We have to run back and resurrect all the time somewhere. Or reload instead of just being able to move on. But I will just trust that these settings are okay for a normal person. <laughs> oh boy, what do we got here? Create a pregnant... Or... I need, some, I need new glasses, folks. I've been stuck with this prescription now. I can barely even read anymore. It's just... <laughs> I probably need, like, trifocals. Pre-generated character. Uh, what do we have? Six options for pre-generated, or we can do the custom character. So what do we have here? Cavalier, half-elf. Not even sure what a cavalier is. Uh, that's warriors... While many warriors strive to perfect their art, spending all of their time honing their skill at martial ar arms, others spend as much effort dedicating themselves to a cause. So how is this not a paladin? <laughs> These warriors, known as cavaliers, not paladins, swear themselves to a purpose. See, I thought cavalier meant like you didn't care. <laughs> You're cavalier about something. Uh, cavaliers are skilled at fighting horseback, which apparently is a thing in this game. Often found charging across a battlefield with the symbol of their order trailing on a long, fluttering banner. And they get animal companions in order to join. Tactician. That sounds like a party ability. That's pretty cool. Uh, melee combat. Or we get the Sardara Oriad. 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 Cleric, support, and magic. Well, there's a little difficulty selector there, so I guess the cavalier is relatively easy. <laughs> cleric a little harder. You know, I've, you know, lately I've really gotten to like playing clerics. You know, at least in uh, 5e, they're pretty powerful characters, not just for healing, but very, uh, you know, tough to kill, do decent damage. Some pretty cool magic effects. I don't generally play clerics in these. You know, I like the fact that he's got his little L mug. <laughs> you know, this guy looks like he's ready to go. Fighter, human. Apparently very easy to play. Usually fighters are, because people don't understand fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can fight. Yeah, you try it. 
Uh, fighters excel at combat, defeating their enemies, controlling the flow of battle, and surviving such sorties themselves. Combat feats, weapon mastery, armor mastery. So this would probably be the one to go with. If you're not sh sh oh, this is a gnome. <laughs> Hello. What are those? Horns or eyebrows? A rogue gnome. Rogues excel at moving about unseen and catching foes unaware and tend to avoid head-to-head -head combat. This might be kind of a fun class. Unlocking doors, disarming traps, and the usual stuff. Ooh, Slayer. Skilled at tracking down targets, Slayers are consummate hunters. Living for the chase and the deadly stroke that brings two clues. The Slayers spend most of their time honing their weapon skills, studying the habits and anatomy of foes, and practicing combat maneuvers. You know, he looks pretty badass. Tiefling. <laughs> I like the tail. <laughs> you know, I might, uh, that's tempting. Here we have a sorcerer, a Inji, human. Sorcerers excel at casting a selection of favorite spells frequently, making them powerful battle mages. So they don't get the spell books, right? They just get a certain uh, spell choice every level or so. Yeah. The Bloodline. Every sorcerer descends from a creature that possesses innate magic, such as dragons, fey, devils, etc. I kind of like that from a role-playing perspective. That's, that's kind of cool. Or I could do the custom character, but let's just, for the sake of expediency, pick one of these. Huh? I think the... <laughs> it's kind of, for me, a choice between him and, and Rix, I think. I, I think we'll go with Unilard. Unilard. He comes well-equipped with his L mug. <laughs> let's just go with that. Wrath of the Righteous. You know, I didn't see a dwarf back there. Did I miss a dwarf? What? What am I looking for? What the? <laughs> what is this? Character portraits. Well, that doesn't look anything like the guy. You know, why do they do this? You know, they were doing this... It's like this, 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 this shameless copying of those Baldur's Gate games. I don't understand why they have these portraits anymore. Why, why do you even need this for? It doesn't even... Why would I want to pick something that doesn't look anything like the, the guy? <laughs> I just don't get it. I guess you could make your... Put yourself in there, I guess, if you were <laughs> that egotistical. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you roleplay, tabletop. You got a favorite character that you want to bring into the game. Fine. Did I not say pre-made character? What happened here? Why am I getting to choose all this stuff now? Let me just bet. Did I mess this up? Yes, go with that guy. Why are there two different... What? Oh, okay. So I guess you could select the pre-made character, but then adjust it. What's the point then? I, let's just do that. I think this skips us all the way to the end. Alright, lawful good. Why can't I choose these? Neutral. What if I want to be neutral good? Why, can, why am I limited? I feel so constrained. <laughs> okay, I guess these are locked for whatever reason. Awful good. We know what that is. Awful evil. We're lawful neutral. Yeah, I'll just go awful good. Oh, more choices. Just beard. Nine different beards. Okay, so you could easily spend the rest of your life here tweaking all this stuff. This is kind of neat. War paint. Why is that not doing anything? Oh, there we go. That's not much.
Gotcha. Come on, you can do better than that. This is <laughs> extremely subtle. <laughs> Some of them. There we go. That looks kind of creepy. I'm always ready. <laughs> I recognize that. I'm always ready. Use that line a lot myself. Burn! Slice! Behead! Defeat is not an option. We cannot be defeated. The path is clear. I lead. You follow. Kind of like aggressive, I think. Calm down. Not dead yet. Not that I care. <laughs> Beautiful. I will guide. Hmm. I need to concentrate. Spell's not working like that. All this waiting bores me. I think I like aggressive the best. Okay, moving on. Choose name. Unilard. Not the most inspiring name. <laughs> Unilard. <laughs> How do you even pronounce it? Birth date. Is this significant for some reason? Gajran Desnes. Yeah, sure. Eighth of Serenith. <laughs> sure. None shall escape! I do like that voice. It's a good choice. Okay, so here's our character sheet. Lawful good human. All right, 16 strength and 16 con. Fairly high dex. It's basically what I would have picked, I think. Power shield specialist. I don't like that. I guess we're stuck with that for some reason. Uh, Flat-footed defenses. <clears throat> this looks mostly... <clears throat> Is this different? Base attack bonus. It looks a little different than the previous game. I'm not sure yet what this means. Defense, armor class, flat-footed touch, fortitude, reflex, and willpower, speed... Special abilities, the coup de grace is back. Treat affliction, that's all from the previous game. Anything new? So he's a fighter, but he still gets rage. <clears throat> I thought that was like a barbarian thing. Something called Abadar. Favorite weapon, light crossbow. Fighter proficiencies, guarding. Weapon profici proficiency, short sword. Get out of here. <coughs> Why am I stuck with a short sword? Hopefully, I can change that. Tower shield, toughness, weapon focus, heavy mace. So he's got an ability of being proficient in a short sword, but his feet is in heavy mace. Seems almost random. Humans gain an additional skill rank at first level and one additional rank whenever they gain a level. So I guess light crossbows and short swords. You know, there is something to be said about a short sword. I think they're... I read somewhere where they're, in real life they're less prone to breaking. A lot more practical than a, you know, if you don't have a lot of space to swing a big sword around. <laughs> like a dungeon, for example. My sword is longer than yours. You got a short sword. Yeah. Why do they just call them swords? <laughs> Why do they have to make length an issue? Hmm. Reminds me of a Men Without Hats video. You can dance. You can dance. Except for that guy, he can't <laughs> dance. <laughs> That's a friend that won't dance right there. Is that me? Oh hey, no! Somebody. We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? Oh my god. Not the game ain't even started and I'm already failing? Good god. My my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary or an accommodating ditch? <laughs> Gee, thanks. Is this one of those friends that will never turn their backs on me? 
Take room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? You hear the stern voice of an elder. The wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Apparently, I'm so weak I can't even turn my head to look in his direction. So, <laughs> if I like party too hard. <laughs> Is... Demons, prelate. Demons. We found yes. him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. Those demons, I'm always. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. Don't die. Don't die. Okay, I think I can. Maybe we'll I get can you manage past that. Up. But first. You there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. What kind of festival Ooh, is that? Not. Everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. It's like the Renaissance festivals these days. They won't even let you bring your swords and axes anymore. It's just... <sighs> Why even go? Whee. Oh, inheritor. Leader of our troops. The sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. That's a cool prayer. The sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. I like that. Magic envelops you, but your pain lessens only slightly. Oh, I get to make a choice. <laughs> Let me die! It's <laughs> the demon drink. <laughs> Oh, I'm so hungover, I can't even stand up. It's a little too close to home. Water! I won't give up that easily. Let me die. Where's, like, <laughs> fetch me a drink? <laughs> oh, I don't know what to pick. <clears throat> How about grit your teeth in silence? My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You there! Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Terendalev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. Who's this? The lady raises her head in, in, in an affectation of surprise. Canelia. I'll get her. Terendalev. Has anyone seen Terendalev? Terendalev. Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. <laughs> Especially faces of that kind of <laughs> as severe scarring, easy to remember. Well, I'm Unilard. Wow, seven choices here. <clears throat> Crusader. I came to the city on business. I lived in the city for a long time. I'm a traveler just passing by. I don't remember. <laughs> Who I am is none of your business. Why don't we do the I don't remember? <clears throat> you don't remember at all? All right, we'll wait until your memory returns. I think we've all been here before. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go on. I'll take care of him. Turindalev! <laughs> All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom. Wait, I'm Be getting your guard. healed by a dragon? <laughs> he has wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. Who oh, ruined the life of the party there? Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. <laughs> you know, I think just hearing that would have been enough, but okay. Uh, so let's see. What, what is going on here? We, we've woke up in a renaissance festival. We are apparently <laughs> besieged by demons? Thank you for helping me. Who are you? Are you really a dragon? 
Yeah, maybe we should find that out. <laughs> you don't believe me? Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. Yes. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Hamper the festivities? <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> okay. What do I need to do here? Can I go? What happened to me? I do not know yet. And that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit concerning. I should be has to go. Thank you for helping me. Probably not a bad idea. I accept your thanks. But my work is not yet done. Who are you? My name is Terendalev. <laughs> I am the protector of the city. Wait, you're Terendalev? Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. Yes, alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. But do not Story be of our lives. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendalev, protector of Canabras. We will find you. There's so many different Terendaloves in this but town. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. Yes. End the dialogue. <clears throat> okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That didn't take long. <laughs> Saving. No, oh, something popped up there for a minute. Whoa. Good God. Movement. Click the right mouse button on where you want to move your character. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, don't you just love those little green spinny things? I mean, doesn't that just strike that chord? Oh, we can also move with... Oh, this is the movie camera with WASD. Okay. You can rotate it. Okay, looks like I can also use the mouse button. Excellent. How do I move oh, around the... How do I move this? Is there a way to move the map? <clears throat> you know, I wish I could hold and drag the map around. I guess I'll have to settle for this combination of uh, WASD. Man, these, I really like these, these models though. That looks really good. You know, this is what I always imagined in my mind, like Baldur's Gate looked like. <laughs> of course, it wasn't this detailed. So that looks good. It looks like a little miniatures game come to, li come to life. That. Let's see, how do we get to that journal? Spell book. Day of the city. Sample the... You have, you've got to take a break from fighting sometime. The square is packed with numerous entertainments. Time to set aside thoughts of war and enjoy... I, I haven't gotten to a fight yet, but that's okay. We can sample the special festival drink. Throw the dart at the target. Hit the mannequin. Well, every journey begins with but a single spiced drink. What is this spicy drink? Oh, there we go. So you hold tab down to see what you can interact with. There's the mannequin, I guess. Where is the mead? The mead tent. You know, whenever I go to Renaissance festivals, that's the first thing I always seek out. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't. It's not at all clear where it is. We can look at a map, maybe. Here we go. Amivia drinking contest. That sounds promising. Okay, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, characters and interactive objects. 
Alright, I figured that out on my own. Thank you. Now, spin the camera around. I guess we talked to Anivia. Everybody's letting their hair down. Everybody's drinking, having a good time. But the demon spies never let up. So that means no fun for me. Maybe we talk to this guy. Oh, here's something. Something's happening. Usually the room doesn't start to spin until after the drinks. I love a drink. What do you say, another round? Sample the special festival drink. Okay. <laughs> We've done that. <laughs> Whoa, why'd he bring his dagger out? Pathfinder 2, Wrath of the Righteous. It's the Righteous. Uh, what else is on our to-do list? Throw the dart at the target. Throw the darts. That looks like a target. Let left. Aim further to the left. Actually, do anything here? Ooh, what about at a hundred paces? Whoa, whoa! This doesn't look good. Some of that blood gore and dismemberment! <laughs> Whoa, look at the blood! Look at the gore! I think these are the bad guys? Or these are the flame dragon. Kinda like gargoyles. Viscari, Lord of Locusts, leave my city! Lord of Locusts. Oh, look at this thing. Now she can drag. Oh. Let the feast be okay. okay. <laughs> wow. See, in this game, somebody else kills the dragon. On day one. Scar himself. Blimey. Blimey. One minute we had a dragon, the next, bam, she was gone. Fight or flee. If flee is your plan, let me help you out. I've got a scroll here with a good protective spell. It's just some random guard? Aren't they supposed to be guarding? <laughs> Coming to me for help? <laughs> Come to me for leadership. I've seen you somewhere before. Have we? Who is this guy? What's the situation in the city? <laughs> I'm guessing bad. Care to lend me a weapon? I'll try to fight the demons. Yeah. Sure thing. Here, take this. Best crossbow I've got. The person who made it said it could pierce the hide of a demon lord even. Well, that's convenient. Good luck. Try not to get eaten now. I've got a crossbow. I've got a quarrel with you. Wow, look at this guy. That is badass. The Lord of Nat snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. I feel like him every time I go out. Behold Minnesota. my holidays. Behold the death I saw. Oh. Oh, that hole? It's just going from bad to worse. The silver dragon Terendalev, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. 
but the war was still far from over. He knows how to make an entrance. You know, they probably wouldn't even allow a demon lord of locusts at the Renaissance Festival these days. Okay. So, I guess... Where am I? <laughs> Combat expertise. This must be a mode. You can choose to take a negative one penalty on melee attack rolls and combat maneuver checks to gain a plus one dodge bonus. The penalty increases by negative one. You know, I always kind of hated these things where you like you lose something, you get something else. I... So I guess I get I'm dodging better, but I miss more often. Fighting defensively. Could choose to take a negative four penalty, so it basically would never hit. Oh, my favorite to charge. Get a few more abilities here. Looks like rage is on. This ability allows the character to accept effects and inspire rage. What? Accept effect. Okay, so I guess if somebody's trying to enrage me, I can either accept that or reject it. I think I've probably got that. You know, got the light crossbow armed and ready to go. Huh. Some engraved lucky bracers. Plus one luck bonus to AC and plus one luck bonus to reflex will and fortitude saving throw. Pretty cool. Looks like I don't have any other slots, but I, <laughs> one thing I love about these games, man. <laughs> Look at all of the slots I have to fill. Several different... So they've tweaked this. Looks pretty good. I'm not, why does that look so weird, though? I don't, what, what the heck is that? Oh, I guess that's the camera. Like, which way the camera's looking? Oh, holy mother of... A small woman with messy brown hair winces in pain, uttering a stream of curses through her clenched teeth. She is pinned to the ground by a couple of weighty boulders. She talking to who's she talking to? This <laughs> Anivia Sila. Apparently, I gained 125 experience for something. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be one in one piece. piece. My head, my head too. too. That's all, all that matters. matters. Now, now, we're, we're going, going to. Hey, hey! Fancying you down, down here. here. You're, You're the one that's better than the other day, right? right? You, you are injured, are, are you? Will you help her get her out of the boulders? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Skill checks and dialogues. During the course of the game, you will have to apply your skills in many different situations. Frequently, you have to make a skill check during dialogue. Here, for example, blah, 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 blah. Such a check is usually performed by the character with the highest bonus in the appropriate skill in the party. <clears throat> so our choice is, why should we help her? <laughs> why should we help? And who would actually pick that first option? Athletics, 12. Hold on. I'm going to get you out from under there. Knowledge of the world. We don't have to rely on brute strength for this. I'll try to find something to use as a lever. Evil. I don't help anyone for free. <laughs> Pay up or stay stuck. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's do the... Let's try the athletics, I guess. She'd be pretty strong. I'm a fighter. Put your max into it. Succeeded. You helped Sila pull Anivia from beneath the rubble. If you had failed, she would have become fatigued and incurred a temporary penalty. Gain 48 XP. Oh, damn it all. I think it's broken. 
Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm Anevia Tiravade, of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. <laughs> I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that, I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Yeah, I guess the Demon Lord of Locust doesn't often RSVP. Well, I'm Sila, paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendeb and fight demons. And, well, I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendalev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's herald, with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah. Let's go pray to the stone, because it works so well. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Ward stone or no, dragon or no, Canabrace will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? I'll just be going. <laughs> I came here to fight the abyss. I'm a scholar. I came here to see the world wound with my own eyes. One person's war is another person's opportunity. You know, this sounds like a Conan response. I like that one. I am led by destiny. Uh, no, definitely not picking that. I'm a traveler. I just wound up here by chance. You know, I'm gonna go with the Conan response. Yeah, we've seen plenty of your type before. Ugh. At least it's an honest answer. At least it's an honest answer. Yep. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. Oh. To summarize, there are three of us with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. <laughs> party. Now your party has several characters. Select one of them, click on their portrait. Blah, blah, blah. To select all your characters, press backspace. Okay. I thought I had... Wait. <laughs> the three of us. Where's the... Why are there only two of us? What do I have to like... What? <sighs> My sentiments exactly. We will win this war. Okay, so I think she is the tank. Yes. Abandoned male. Okay, let's see if we can move her. There we go. Why is Anivia not joining the fun? Which way do we want to go? Onwards! I'm really liking these these graphics, though. They're, that looks really good. Look, Holrun put all the confiscated weapons in this chest. Take a look. Got some loot. What do we have? Torch. Might need that. There's our flail. Okay, let's see what's this cloak of resistance. Yeah, put that on for sure. So I have to choose, I guess, to a short spear. I got a flail. Sword. 
And a short spear. I guess the short spear you can use one handed is the difference. One to six, one to eight, one to eight. So probably want to go. I guess I'll just stick with a crossbow for now and then we'll see how that works out. Sometimes the ranged weapons are really powerful. Ooh, what's this? Loot. Wow, that's really sparkly. Terendal of Scale. Usable item. You restore life to a deceased party member. A raised creature has a number of hit points equal to its current HD. Okay, so I guess that's a little... Uh... Let's see, what do you think quick save is? F5? Ha! <laughs> I guessed right. Alright, so they gave me a little way to bring somebody back to life. Who's there? I guess it didn't work on her. She kind of lost her head in that battle. Oh, Camellia. Let's see. The fine apparel of this young half-elf woman is torn and stained with blood, dust, and dirt. However, she holds herself with such dignity that you would be forgiven for thinking you were at a high society party and not in the dark dank catac or not in the dank catacombs under the sea. Her fingers grip her rapier hilt with confidence. At her feet lies a dead body, so mutilated that at first glance it's hard to tell if it's animal or human. Ouch. Relax, friend. We're we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, alright? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for- You know Lard? What, you don't remember my name? <laughs> really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... When... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I saw it. Naively, it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head yeah, around Yeah, I think they it. want to check their warranty on that Wardstone. Not many could withstand a strike from a demon lord. Tell me more about yourself. What happened to this poor man? Who is he? I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him. But he was already dead, sadly. Aww. He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. Hang on. I think I know him. His name's Aravashniel, the egghead from the library. He was a good lad, even if he was kind of stuck up. May his soul rest in peace. He was a good lad. Do we need her to join us? Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack only to perish under a pile of rubble. Yes, that is the height of Let's foolishness. see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not Luke. to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. <laughs> Using abilities. Companion Camellia has the ability to cure light wounds. To use it, click the portrait, click the spell. Yes, yes, yes. I know that. Open your heart to me. So this looks very similar to the previous game here. Okay. We can loot the corpse. I wonder if I can... You think I can use that that uh, scale to bring this guy back to life? Oh, just for just for fun. Let's see. Probably not, is my guess, but you never know. All this waiting bores me. There, there it is. Let's see. click it. Spell's not working like that. Doesn't work like that. Damn it! He's supposed to be dead. Masterwork Dagger. Okay, let's see. What does she have? So why do they have all their equipment? 
cold iron rapier, a buckler, an amulet, unidentified. How do I? How do I identify it? <laughs> so you just put on this random necklace. Okay. It's got a couple of potions too. All right, let's move on. <clears throat> It kind of bugs me that she's not in our group. I don't know what that's about. Lighting. In dark places such as caves, it's hard to see anything. There are two main ways to light your path. The first is to adjust the contrast on your monitor. <laughs> Just made that up. Uh, light spell on the character. Second is to give one of the characters an ever burning torch to carry. It doesn't look that dark. I can still see. <laughs> okay, I guess it wants us to do the. I'll watch your back. Let's just do the torch. Oh, we gotta. Oh, we actually do have to use it as. I don't want to do that. Let's just do the spell. And the light. Go, oh, nice. Not oh, just here we go. Life. Combat. <laughs> About damn time. When combat begins, the game is fun. The pause is convenient to give orders to your kids. Switch between turn based and real time modes. Use turn based mode or key. T. Enemies red. Allies green. A stippled line. Stippled? Connects the character to the target. Look. Let's do the turn based mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are we fighting here? Some young giant centipedes. Okay, let's try this out. Unilard attacks young giant centipede with light crossbow hit. A whopping one damage point. Yay! Move them all closer to. I guess that's probably all he could do. How do we. Spacebar. Okay, she's got. Rapier. Spirit weapon enchantment. Duration one minute. A spirit hunter can is a swift action grant a plus one enhancement bonus for one minute to any weapon she is holding. Okay, that's probably a good move. I'll cut you wide open. Whoa, damn! <laughs> that was cool. Wow. All right. The spirits demand your blood. I like her. Let's see how she operates. Smite evil. Is this an evil creature? The inheritor, guide my Let's blade. See, how do I get info on it? Vermin, flat-footed. It's a neutral. So the smite evil it doesn't say it has to be evil. If the target is evil, they can add a bonus to it. Okay. Yeah, well, let's just try the charge. I love a charge. Ugh. Did I mess up again? Oh, too close. Into okay. the fray. You know, it almost makes you think you'd be better off putting a charging character like at the back ranks, just so you can have a little more space and be able to charge more often. Let's see if she can do you that. You are today's sacrifice. again. Go for their hearts. Shish kebab. All right, Unilard, let's do more than one point of damage. Thank you. They're doing like 12 and 13 and critting. Let's hear you cry. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Seven points of damage. Now, do I have ammo to worry about with him? Uh, I don't see a slot for 
arrows, so I guess he's, uh... No, I don't, I guess he just has unlimited ammo. Easy enough. Ooh, get some padded armor. You have your pads. I think I got a bottle of oil. It's like a junk item. Alright, padded armor. Let's go ahead and put that on. You know, is it just me? This is... Why is he blurry? He looks like he's blurry. Like his cloak is real blurry looking. You see that? Look at that. So it's like sharp for one second. Yeah, there's a there's a glitch. It must be a glitch there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they're gonna have to put a patch out to fix that blurry armor. That just destroys my immersion. I'm gonna save it here. I'm gonna take a quick break and be right back. All right, let's get back to it. So let's see, where were we? The handy dandy map. It's a good looking map. Sila Yunlard. Underground caves of Canabras. Terrain type underground. You mean this is under? Oh. <laughs> Okay. Lie on me. Okay, let's get back to it. I wish there was a mini map. I'm kinda Is there a way to turn a mini map on? I've just missed somehow. Let's see options. Uh let me under graphics for a map. <laughs> Controls. Mini map, mini map, mini map. Rotate camera. Open window, action bar, I don't see anything there about a map, tooltips, settings, did the first one have a mini map? Uh. Maybe there's no. There's a map, M. Oh, here we go. There's a little button. What does that do? No. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just have to rely on my. We do have a compass. Oh, that's handy. Let's go before the batteries run out in that light spell. Some more loot. We got another Terindalev scale. Yes. We got a few more of those. We may be able to. Save the last one for the me. scale. Oh, what is this guy? <laughs> There's something that is bugging me about this guy. The giant fly. Those are, take forever to zip. Oh, I can charge! Charge! Okay, that's pretty far back. I wonder if that's good range. I don't think I hit. So I think this turn based combat's working out okay. Now she looks like she's a little bit too far back. Let's see, she could switch to a range. Doesn't she have a I thought she had a ranged weapon too, maybe. I'll cut you wide open! Mistaken on that. Okay. I think that's all she can do. Man, that's a big fly. You know, I read somewhere that in real life you can never have a giant insect. Something about they breathe through your skin and surface area. You know, it's kind of beyond me, this, <laughs> this science, but... <laughs> the nice thing about fantasy is you can always explain everything away with magic. What's this other ability she's got? Smite evil. 
you get to do that once a day or what? Uh, expand this out to see it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, okay. How do you look at shift expand? Okay. There we go. Uh, let's see. How you should get to do this every day. Um, swift action. Well, it doesn't say. Let's just try it. I'd rather try these abilities out while it's relatively easy combat. <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. Didn't do anything though. Let's see, immunities. He's effects and conditions prone. Oh, he's immune to prone. What is this? Things. Features and abilities? This giant fly has all this? My goodness. We can even disease me. Oh, that's not good. The light. Oh, we don't have to worry about it anymore because he's swatted. I missed that joke. I said, call in the SWAT team. <laughs> Why don't you just love Matt Chat? I'm starting to think I might want to bump up that difficulty a notch. Uh, as soon as I say that, I know I'm about to face something really menacing. Ooh, there's another giant fly. I wonder if I can kind of sneak up on him. Let's try this. Do not fear. Do not waver. Say that every time I go to Golden Corral. Let's get him up. Let's get her up. It's. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. The spirits demand your blood. Oh, she's still stealthy. So does that mean I can't see her? You are today's <laughs> sacrifice. Okay, I guess she's done. Oh, well, maybe I got a free round since we are sneaking. It says there's two of these guys. They don't come up behind me. That's always a pain. What is the deal with the Nevia? Can she charge? No, I guess she's too far. Gotta hit that Goldilocks zone for charging. Got a spitting giant centipede. Let's we'll snuff him out. Go for their heart. Never swat bugs with one of those electric zapper things. That is almost as much fun as this combat. Man, that's just so satisfying, that... Pretty gross, but... <laughs> oh, there's some loot on that one. What do we get? What the hell is that? Flame tongue. This is a cooking ingredient. You can use it to cook something while resting. We also have a rainbow quartz. This reagent can be used to brew potions or scribe scrolls, man. Yeah, can you believe they used to make CRPGs without cooking? Like, what do people do for fun in those games? I mean, you can't cook up a bug tongue? No, I think we might. Let's, let's uh, circle back and go on here. Yeah, I want to see what's down this corridor. Oh, 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 oh. You are today's sacrifice! Cut them to oh, papers. so if you click them. Uh oh, here he comes. Boom. Okay. Why are we still in combat? Uh, 
Oh, there's another one. Well, Navia can still shoot. Continuing on. Ooh, there's some loot. Ooh, 25 gold coins. Some bracers of armor. These bracers grant their wearer, wearer an armor bonus of plus one, just as though they were wearing armor. It feels like wearing nothing at all. What else we got? There's some Cure Light Wounds, another Light Mace, and a Scroll of Inflict Light Wounds. You know, have you ever used that stupid spell? <laughs> you know, all these games, all of those uh, cause Light Wounds. I don't think I've ever... Or Inflict Light Wounds. I don't think I've ever used that. So would I rather have a plus one luck bonus to AC and a plus one luck bonus to all that other stuff? Or just better armor? Probably won't do anything for her, I bet. What's her armor class? Yeah, doesn't... Oh, it's a little... What's that exclamation point? Warning! Non-stacking bonuses! Warning! I can't decide. I'm just I'm paralyzed by choices. I guess we'll just hold on to those. But, you know, that's just why you want to explore every nook and cranny. Every cranny and nook. You know, you know let's uh, turn off the turn-based combat. Let's see what it plays like when you're... When you're in real time mode. They will break oh, against a monitor our lizard. It's a CGA. Into the fray. You know, good looking monsters. Oh, see, I, as soon as you put it in real time, you start taking damage, getting hit. Ooh, monitor lizard scales. Skin. Yes, yeah, skin. I love skin ink. <laughs> Unilard! Failed to skin that lizard, you son of a... Oh, I see they're still doing this crap. You can only put one potion. <laughs> uh, let's see, how do you heal? What's on your mind? I wonder. Magnesium Turinos! You know, back in my day, you'd have like part two of a game and your characters would have their whatever level they achieved from the previous game. You could actually bring them into the next game with all of their gear. Well, I take that back. Usually they take your gear away. But... What the hell's happening? You know, at least you got to keep some of your stuff. XP and abilities. Lan. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here what? somewhere. Okay. Lan. How do you bring this up without being impolite? Huh? No, I just... I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. You realize you have never encountered a creature like this before? Creature? Come on, that's, that's harsh. The stranger looks like the work of a vivisectionist who attempted to stitch together a lizard and a man. <laughs> okay. Wind dog. Wind dog. What? Lan, did you find it? Who is that? Who have I stumbled into? Oh. This woman looks just as strange as her companion. Like a cross between a cat and a spider. Well, I can get along with some, with a <laughs> somebody who's half cat, half spider. <laughs> when she catches sight of you, she immediately drops into a fighting stance. 
her movements reveal the lethal grace of a wild predator. The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on up there. What in the world's going on down here? Sounds quite intriguing. Demons are laying waste to Canabras. Why should I tell you anything? Who are you? Tieflings? <laughs> what is this place? What are you doing here? Evil. <laughs> Monsters like you don't deserve to live. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to be told that's evil, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I guess, what are you doing here? Try... That's none of your bit. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, Aren't sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Looking for the holy sword. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. The underground crusaders. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame, and will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? So you think she's trying to channel more the spider or the cat? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Good God, ten options, okay. Demons are laying waste maze, does it relate to the surface? A sort of holy flame, how did it wind up down here? We'll find the sword faster if we work together. Thanks, an extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks, uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. It looks swordy. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should rethink that offer. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? Yay! What? You want to find the sword quickly so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. Hidden objects. What's well, a hidden object game? Uh, what do we do? Uh, what's this telling me? Some interactive objects aren't easy to find. Moving past such an object, every character automatically makes a perception skill check. Okay. Okay. So I guess now I know that there's something around. Why didn't they join me? You know, I, I feel like there's something I'm not getting here. Like, some of the characters don't join your party. They just kind of hang out with you. But you can't control them, I guess. I hope you appreciate this. Gained experience nine. Lore religion check succeeded. Statue of an unknown knight. The technique is crude, but the figure was clearly crafted with genuine feeling. Judging by the style of armor, the knight is from the First Crusade. I see, I would have thought second, maybe third crusade. Hmm. Some loot there. Oh, got some more flame tongue. Some edible moss. Yummy! Onwards! Moss that grows deep underground. Yeah, it says I'm... Perception check failed. <laughs> you know, I'd almost just rather not know I was failing these tests. Don't, I guess you can't see my failure. You want to see my failure? <laughs> There's my failure. Oh, I'm just failing. 
This, this room looks like an improvised museum. Or perhaps some... Oh, something. What the hell? Ding, 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 ding. Copper ring! <laughs> oh, the power of copper. Oh, this will be so awesome. Man, that looks kind of uncomfortable. I don't know if I would want to put my mug there. <laughs> really tight with that mug. I found uh, something. Grinding stone. Hmm. Might be able to. Doesn't look like I can What's use it. What's that but... there? Ooh, this is something. Handful of gems. Oh, there's something there. Oh, whoa. Something happened. Oh my cow. Okay. What about this? Is like a. Oh, well, this must be one of the little choose your own adventure sequences. They're back. A strange flash pierces the gloom, and Yun and Yun Lard feels drops of searing blood run down his chest. The wound healed by Terendlev reopens and weeps scarlet. There is no pain or weakness. A hazy scene appears, a cave chamber. This one or another one entirely. Yun Lard's heartbeat quickens, and a stream of thoughts suddenly bursts into his mind. Thoughts that clearly belong to another. Treachery! They betrayed me, trapped me, and stabbed me in the back. My trusted allies, my treasured friends. The people from whom I descended from heaven and came to this turbulent mortal world. <laughs> there they are, up ahead in the gloom of the cave. What are they waiting for? Are they afraid to draw any closer? Do they believe I am about to die? Is this still my thoughts? I can't tell because the quotation marks ended right there, but it goes on. I'm so confused. Uh, a girl with a golden braid lies on the rocks, clutching her slashed sign. She refuses to join with the traitors and pay dearly for it. I could have tried to run, but I will not. Whilst I have still have strength, I must. While recognizing the foreign origin of these thoughts, Unilart intuits that he can control them somehow. Let's try to heal the wounded girl. Furiously call out the traitors. Gotta heal the girl, I guess. A spark of healing magic illuminates the eerie, murky scene before you, Lord. The wounded girl opens her eyes and whispers, Lariel, you, you said that everything was going to change soon. You said you and the other warriors of heaven would be leaving us on a grand mission to stop the demons forever. Is that true? The frenzy of foreign thoughts comes faster and faster like a rushing river. Images flash by one after the one one after another. A priestess in colorful robes, observing the stars. A young female paladin praying, clutching her glowing sword. A majestic golden winged angel gazing into the distance, his face covered by a helmet, but his voice ringing clear. Only if you're willing, only if you're ready. There's no going back. You know, sometimes I have dreams like this after eating a Popeyes. So then don't waste your strength healing me, the girl whispers. Your mission is more important. You take care of near. There in the vision, the darkness in the cave stirs into motion. Something massive appears from within its depths. A vague shadow and outline. Nightmare come to life. A wave of odious. Shurupping? Shurupping. Shurupping. And rustling emanates from the shadow. Sound piercing like hot irons lancing through flesh and bone. It's a sound we're all familiar with. The traitors fall to their knees before the shadow in reverent ecstasy. A wounded girl thrashes in her death throes. What's this? Oh, there's more. <laughs> I must have been paid by the word here. Uh, the yawning chest wound burns white hot. 
Unilard's head pounds with pain and is no longer clear whose pain it is. The person called Lariel who sent this vision or the one unlucky enough to receive it. So we can use our willpower, but Unilard is determined to fight off the illusion. Or our knowledge of Arcana. But Unilard knows how to resist malign influences such as this. So it's, I need to, I guess this must be difficulty level 10. And I've got a plus two bonus, which is a little better than my Arcana bonus. So let's go with willpower. Succeeded, yeah! The force of the attack, though originating in a vision, is terrifying. But Unilard is stronger. He shakes off the pain and torpor. But alas, the one who sent the vision cannot claim the same. He is broken. Exhaustion. Oh, look at that dude again. <laughs> the Locust Lord. A monstrous shadow emerges from the murk of the cave. He does not reel. He exists only in the strange vision or memory. But the thrill of fear it provokes is more than real. The shadow's features starkly resemble those of Discari, the terrifying demon lord. The movement as swift as thought itself. The monster's hands wrapped around the throat of one they call Mariel. The foolish angel struggling on the rocks, like a fly with his wings torn off. It tones the shadow. Would he be using a metaphor like that? <laughs> his voice changes as it moves, shifting from a quiet whispering to a sonorous shout, becoming young, then old and quavery. Where's your goddess angel? Where's her self-assured herald? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Uh, let's just roll with it. 22 XP. A strange calm envelops the thought of one called Lariel. He recognizes who stands before him, and he knows he will never bow down before this enemy. The flaming sword flares to life in his hand. Bright, pure, and flickering with multicolored sparks like a sunbeam through the stalest of cliches. Slash! The blade slices through the demonic creature's flesh, and the monster recoils with a howl releasing his grip on Lariel's throat. The angel falls back heavily on the rocks. His vitality is ebbing. But his pride remains undiminished. He grips the sword and with his last burst of strength plunges it into the rock. Unilard senses that the vision is fading, the rush of thoughts diminishing, like a river running dry. <laughs> last thing he hears is this. You will kill me, monster, this I know. Oh, the angel. You will kill me, monster, this I know. But one day, someone will come here and raise up my sword. They will raise it up and light the charcoal. Oh, Punish evildoers, save and protect the innocent. Yeah. The vision disappears, vanishing in a burst of color. Unilard does not hear the final words or see the epic cutscene. But he seems to complete the thought, taking it to heart. The words fly from his lips and with them something else. The heat blazing in Eulard's chest fades away. The secrets of the scarlet wound oh, the edges of the scarlet wound close, leaving not even a scar behind. The scarlet scar. Now, looking down, Eulard sees the flaming sword in his hand, or rather its outline, the memory of what the sword looked like, kind of as though it were in a tool cabinet. With a final surge of warm and soothing light, the sword vanishes and the light is drawn into his hand. Unilard senses that it will return. All he needs to do is call it. What is the number, though? Wow, that was a lot of... Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hey! Are you alright? You were kind of glowing just now. Yeah, I was, you know, kind of glow from time to time. It was just a really beautiful complexion. Sila kneels before the light, offering up a prayer to Iomade. That, that was it. The light of heaven. But how? What did you do with it? Where did it go? I think I saw the memories of Lariel. Lariel? That really was Lariel? 
Oh, the angel I'm from sorry. the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. The chief will be thrilled. You. Thousands of gongs, and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh Thousands and of blood, gongs? no different to us, get the sword and start talking about visions. You know, I dare say I'm a little bit different to them, but uh, okay. Now, now, Wentwog, don't be a sore loser. He is clearly different from us. The sword appeared before him along with the angel's name and all that other stuff because he doesn't carry our mongrel taint hey heaven doesn't give a damn how there. special we are we're born with evil inside us heaven doesn't need to know any more than that you know i wonder why they didn't get somebody to read these little what do you call these stage notes one nods towards you i know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor but you and Sol, you just refuse to face the truth. We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the Abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. What is this? It requires angel mythic path. Reveal the light of heaven. It seems I can control it. Do I have that? Oh, maybe I that do. That is just... Wow, I mean, that's amazing! Heaven has truly blessed you. This power is the most majestic the power, thing the I've power, ever seen the power. in my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Yes, it's similar, but this light is more... golden? Chief Sol needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then, the perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. Lead us to your chief. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really. You know, the voice acting has, has been consistently good so far. I'll give it that. What do we have here? So we got a couple extra characters now. Skill checks. What have we got? Battles await. Um, level one. Zen Archer. Wind dog here is. Oh, wow, that's pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, she looks cool. What is she? Fighter. I got a lot of ranged characters. Just about everybody's ranged in this party. Wow. Okay, well. I think I'll give, let's see. Her AC is 17. His is 18. So let's go ahead and give her those bracers. That's neat. Okay. Uh, give her these other weapons. Probably wouldn't hurt to give everybody at least one uh, melee weapon. I guess he can't use that longbow. Proficiency. Use a flail? No, can't use that either. What is he? Zen Archer. Can they not use any... Maybe they can't use any melee weapons. That would stink. Hmm. Let's see if he could use this dagger. Yeah, he can use the dagger. Okay. 
give him the dagger then, and let's give her the let's see light mace. Flail's worth two gold. I guess the, I guess it's worth a little bit more money. I'll give it to her. But I uh, yeah, use the bow. Okay, looks good. Let's see. Oh, we got some more loot here. What? What are you doing? Get the loot. Some more gems. More gems. More grindstones. Grindstones and gems. All right. More of those statues. Looks, look at this. Looks like there's, is that a room? See what I mean? It looks like you can sort of get in there somehow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. There might, maybe that's what it was saying about the perception checks. Looks like a little secret entrance. Pause. Protection from evil. Gotta get that. Protection, all day protection from evil. Maybe it's not. It sure does look like a secret entrance. It's driving me crazy. Oh well, just move on. Now this game is slowly but surely getting its teeth into me. Head on. Oh, there's some more loot. Ooh, pearl. Okay, is that the only way to go? <sighs> Forget it. The mongrel did it! Rolling dice. Most of the game's mechanics are based on the rules of the tabletop RPG Pathfinder, which uses dice for determining outcomes of various actions. Does anybody not know this? I was reading that. Combat log. If you're unhappy with the way the combat goes, check out the details of the rolls. You might find some information that would help you to optimize your tactics. Oh, what's this? Oh, 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 we got a giant spider now. How is our new friend here? You need me. How is she going to feel about fighting other spiders? <laughs> this could be interesting. Okay, we want to turn the turn based off this time. Let's just let him go at it. Go for their Get another hunt. obstacle. Okay, looks like it's boom, boom, boom. I don't think that's even easier than the turn-based. Well, what? Bizor? A bizor. This reagent can be used to brew potions or scribe scrolls. Yes, yes. Seen those for sale at the co-op. Fairy mushroom. This reagent can be used to brew potions or <laughs> scribe scrolls. I bet it can. <laughs> Caustic mold. Okay. Always on the lookout for caustic. And they're like damn flick light wound spells. You know, they're probably like the most useful scroll in the world. I'm just not even savvy. Maybe I'll try it out next time. You know, in the last game I seem to remember you could, there were certain spells or scrolls you could cast and use them on a, a melee weapon attack somehow. My character, I could do it with the, my bow. What's she doing? Worshipping the mold? 
a little prayer to the mushroom. <laughs> oh, mushroom. There's some more rubble. Elementals. Ooh. Well, so far, this is really giving me uh, too hard of a time. What's that there? Oh, secret loot. Woohoo! Wand of Cure Light Wounds. 15 charges. Caster level 1. Take a closer look at that. Info. An undead creature can apply spell resistance. Since undead are powered by negative energy, this spell deals damage to them. Did not know that. Alright. Uh, who can use it? She can use it. Excellent. Can anybody else use it? Though? Maybe I want a backup healer. Yeah! She could use it. Cool. You know, I'm going to give it to her, so if something happens to my... to my uh, spirit hunter, I could still heal. I can... You know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, that was cool. That is... I feel like I'm doing pretty... Uh, getting off to a pretty good start here. You follow. Oh, what's happening here? Keep it going. We've already been here. Oh, I got church. There we go. That way. It's kind of confusing with all these little secrets everywhere. Onwards. Let's turn. Uh, looks like we got some more flies. You if we find the wrong mongrel, oh. they do. So he calls himself a mongrel? Well, oh, found a bow, looks like. Masterwork light crossbow, is that an upgrade? I think it is, right? What does the masterwork do exactly? Looks like it does the same amount of damage. Let's take a gander at this. Masterwork. A masterwork weapon is a finely crafted version of a normal weapon. Wielding it provides a plus one bonus on attack rolls. So why does that say something up here about that? Oh well. I think everybody else is just using those regular bows. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at these guys. <laughs> oh, that's we cool. Are the light. They are the darkness. I found! Beg me to stop! Something. Oh, what is that? Combat expertise. Okay. Hey, which one of these? Where am I getting this? Uh... What is this? Every attack during combat entails the following calculations. Yes, yes. I'm going to assume you guys are already familiar with all this. Oh, we do have flanking bonuses. How do they determine the flanking? Let's see, armor class, yes, 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 damage. You know, some of these games, I'm always a little confused. Like, you have to actually be behind, you have to have one character here, one character, you know, directly behind the monster to, to get the flanking. And sometimes it's just, if, you know, as long as more than one character is attacking the same target, then you get it. Yeah, you never quite know what to expect. Ooh, what's this thing? A comma. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, Masterwork Great Sword. Two hander. And we got ourselves a light shield. Go ahead and stick that in one of these combos. If I want to switch out to my long sword, ah, that looks good. You know, I'm almost tempted just to give him the. Since I'm so short on melee characters, you know, I could probably use another. Another melee guy. Long sword. You can trust me. Okay, uh, how do you rest? The spirits guide me. You know, the past game, that was a little bit cumbersome. Let's see, you can't press R to rest. Okay, you cannot rest here. <laughs> well, that's easy enough. <laughs> I might have to use that wand. This dialogue. Wind dog glances at Lan, who's fixing his slip bowstring, and quickly walks over to you. Her cat like eyes glow from beneath her hood. Listen here, you. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but you and I are the only two people here who see things clearly. <laughs> and so I'm asking you don't show the light of heaven to Saul. Who's Saul? Lan is sure that the light should be shown to the mongrels. I thought you considered the mongrels to be great warriors. Don't you want to save the kids lost in the maze? I don't know. What, what the heck are we even talking about here? <laughs> Let's go. Don't show the chief the light, and I'll lead you through the maze to the surface, I swear. Oh, choice paralysis setting in again. I don't really want to piss her off. I like having her. I like the idea of her, the cat spider character. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Leaving a location. Click this icon to leave a location. To leave your whole party needs to be near it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other words, gather your party before setting forth. Now look at the. Come on. There's no way I've explored this whole thing. I even see like a little thing there. Ah, uh, okay. You know, very attractive loading screens. One dog. I bet she could give a give you a, <laughs> a nice hug. Where are we now? Terrain type unknown. Cannot rest here. Can't go in the water. Ooh, there's some kind of mongrel. Your first impression of the mongrel village is of a squalid dump with the odors to match. Unbleaking, glowing eyes watch you from the gloom and deformed shadows slope between the huts. Oh, come on, St. Cloud's not this bad. Uh, you see some mongrels gutting white... What? You see some mongrels gutting white eyeless fish while others are repairing fishing nets. All of the signs of normal village life, but tense expectations <laughs> hangs in the... Yes, all the signs of normal village life, sure. 
A heavy set aged mongrel slowly shuffles his way towards you. Their hair on his head grows in limp, wispy strands, and his face has a distinctly rat like appearance with pronounced teeth, and you hear a rattling sound in his chest with, uh, like where this is going. His chest with every breath he takes. One of his eyes is white, fully scarred by cataracts, while the other gleams with moisture. You know? <laughs> That's a lot of detail. <laughs> Uplander J in Timeshare Ponish indeed. Sheep Soul. Did I just like lose all the voice acting all of a sudden? I don't know. We found the one who can wield it. Land points at you. He had a vision, and now the angel's sword, together with the light of heaven, are somehow inside him. Gather the tribe. Anyone who can hold a weapon, the young ones are still alive. We can go save them. Save the children. Chief Sol. Sol raises his hand with ragged, broken fingernails. Ah, lad, always dreaming, always talking. You're too hasty. 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 Too hasty for your own good. You're too hasty, people. Slow. It's going to get you in trouble. So it lies you up and down. An uplander with the light of heaven. That's too good for Oosh. <laughs> what? You know, they could have just said the guy has a drunken or slurring speech and that literally made it impossible to read. See, our kind doesn't have good things happen. There's always a catch. Land trush people because he likes to believe isn't that right land I'm the chief I don't work on faith <laughs> show the light yeah, dialogue options restricted by mythic paths throughout the game you will occasionally encounter colored options marked as associated with a specific mythic path these are dialogue branches that embody the spirit of a particular manifestation of mythic powers in the earlier stages of the game, these options must be selected in order to gain the opportunity to set out on the corresponding Mythic Path. Once your Mythic Path is set, unique alternatives and accessible to other Mythic Paths will become available to you. Is there someone else from the surface here? Alright, so what do we want to do? Do we want to please wind dog the spider cat lady? Or land the lizard man slash... I forget what the other half was. <laughs> I'm totally going cat spider lady. Hell yeah. Is there someone else from the surface here? I will help you find the lost mongrels in the maze, but you can quit hoping for a magical sword to appear. So which one goes with her? Yeah, let's do the land is mistaken. Land whips around to look at you stunned. He clenches his fist for a moment as if planning to shake the truth out of you, but he quickly gets a handle on himself. I don't know why you're lying. No doubt you have your reasons. Yeah, cat spider lady, hello. But I know it's a lie, you know. And Windu knows. Tell him, Windu. It's Wind Dog, not Windu. I saw the light shining between the rocks and then it went out. Land saw what he wanted to see. Why are you doing this? Doing what? Telling the truth? You saw some kind of light near me and you thought that that meant I now have the angel's sword. <laughs> you were mistaken. <laughs> I don't want the blood of gullible mongrels on my hands. Or say nothing. Let's do... If there's an option to say nothing, I'll always pick it. <laughs> right. You and Windu have worked everything out between yourselves. You played me for a blind mole, blind mole here. Blind. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. <laughs> did I like? Did I somehow turn off the voice acting? Uh, everybody around me said they didn't want to go anywhere or save anyone, but I didn't believe them. I always have to take things further than everybody else. Isn't that right, Chief? Fine. I see how things are. I don't need any more convincing. Lan offers a crooked smile. Peace, Lan. Miracles are not meant for us. 
We, the tribe, we wait. If you're one of us, shh, you will wait. We're not going anywhere. Blender, shh, rest now. There is a hut over there, and you can rest there. <laughs> okay, man. You made the right choice. It was the lesser of two evils. And now rest, so we can be at our best when we go into the maze. I promise to lead you to the surface, and I will. Oh, and we leveled up too. <laughs> Combat victories and other achievements give your character experience points. After accumulating a certain amount of experience, the character gains a new level. You need to know this because you've never played a computer role-playing game ever. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, get these nice iron crosses. No reason to pause. Exact more. Alright, I guess this little button here levels up. Oh boy. You know, I always found this screen a little bit complicated. So I guess this is telling me. Yeah, so if you haven't played these games before, it's the, you know, I guess you might like this, you might not like it. I, I think it's pretty cool, actually. You can, you don't have to pick the same thing every time. You can be like level of paladin, or level of this, or level of that. Create sort of a, a combination class, multi class, if you will. And then there's certain. Um, there's certain, like, prestige classes, I guess, and these will have things on them where you have to like, have, like, so many levels of, um, like, let's see, this Arcane Trickster, for example. You have to have a, some skills, Trickery 4, Mobility 4, Sneak Attack 2, Ability to Cast Arcane Spells, Second Level Spells. So that's, you know, so that's pretty cool, too. So you, there's a lot of different ways you can get that, right? You just have to be able to cast a Second Level Spell. And then Knowledge Arcana. Uh, but then, you know, these each of these prestige classes will have special things that only they can do. So it's... I think this is a really good system. I've always liked this. The only thing that makes it a little bit tricky is when you're starting out, you might not have a clear sense of where you want to you know, eventually get to with your character. So it really pays to spend some time looking at these uh, various options. You know, and, and see what... Uh, What is this? She Sela, level up to. So you know, I could have sworn I had it set to, to automatically level up your uh, your characters. Maybe I just <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> okay, so she could do it. She could just go on to Paladin, probably the best move. Or I could look into some of these other ones. Let's just stick with it. Surely to God we can go at least uh, three or four levels before we have to worry about multi-classing. So it looks like I could just skip directly to the end or step by step. Let's just skip to the end. What is this class pro progression? Oh, okay. Now, so this showed me the whole page. So this is actually pretty neat. So you can see all the way up to like level 20 what you get each step of the way. And it's typically set so that Every level, or I guess in this case, it's like there's a level there where you don't get anything. Uh, but there's typically something to look forward to. Let's go ahead and just skip to the end for her so she gets Lay on Hands Others. Uh, so she. <laughs> lay on Hands Self, Lay on Hands Others. Nothing. So how did the spell, how do spells work for a, a, for a paladin? Oh, she didn't heal up all the way. Oh, come on. Usually when you level up, it goes ahead and uh, heals you up all the way. What's on your I've mind? actually used that to my advantage sometimes in those other games. You know, like, you know, tough battle, but you know, you're just about to level up, and then you're just about to die, and then poo! <laughs> Suddenly back to full health. Pretty cool. But I guess for whatever reason, they decided not to do that this time. Plus, this is our Shaman Spirit Hunter. Hex. Oh, she gets Ice Plant. This Hex grants the Shaman a plus two natural armor, natural armor bonus to AC. 
Yeah, in fact, leaves the shaman skin thick and stiff to the touch. Ice plant. How does that? Voice of the spirits. She need to turn that on. How does that? Ooh, she's got. You know, she seems like I had a. This is like my character from the first game. It wasn't called a spirit hunter, though. It's like a magus, I think. Looks like she's got similar abilities to that. Battle spirit. Where's that ice plant? Where's ice plant? Cure light wounds. Enlarge person. Dismiss spell virtue. You have to memorize it? Oh. Okay, I'm glad I checked this. So she's got two Cure Light Wound spells and she gets a third You know, I, I don't... I don't understand an enlarged person. I, I know it seems like a simple thing, you get big, but... Is it worth it? You get plus two... Size bonus to strength, but then you gotta... You take a negative two to dex. And a negative penalty on attack rolls and AC. I mean, it just seems like there's more negatives there than positives. I mean, you get a plus two to strength, but everything else... I don't know, I guess it's good. Ooh, she can summon an ally. I always like to do that. Oh, let's just go for... Uh, oh, bless. Yeah, let's do Bless. That's always so good. Yeah, that's good. What, what was that about Ice Plant, though? Did she just automatically use that, or what? Yeah, Ice Plant. This Hex. Okay, what's a Hex? <laughs> a Shaman learns a number of magical tricks called Hexes. Which grants her powers or weaken foes. Which grant her powers or weaken foes. The second level is Shaman learns one hex. Blah, blah, blah. A shaman can select from any of the hexes available to her chosen spirit. A shaman cannot select a hex more than once unless noted otherwise. Using a hex as a standard action. How do you uh, use the hex? Got to rest first, maybe. She's got some kind of interesting abilities. There's one called Battle Spirit. And I guess I have to tinker with that a little bit more. Try to figure no out what the hex is. My way. Okay, for my character, let's go through the full Monty. Uh, fighter tower shield specialist. Uh, I hate that tower shield business. That doesn't really fit. I guess we'll just stick with it for now. Okay, and then we get some recommended. Uh, must be what the V's are. Let's go ahead and put another point into that. Knowledge. Perception's always good. Oh, I can't raise that one. Okay, well, let's just go. That's fine, I guess. Bonus combat feat. At first level and at every even level thereafter, a fighter gains a bonus feat in addition to those gains from normal advancement. These bonus feats must be selected from those listed as combat feats. Sometimes also called fighter bonus feats. <laughs> yes. So what is the diff? Why are some red and green? What's the what is the significance of the color? Do I already have this. Maybe you can take it multiple times. Oh, look okay. out! Yeah, let's. See. I do want to quit using that crossbow and go uh, 
to melee with him. You know, surely red means... Yeah, red must be, like, unavailable. Or something. Why can't I select that? Oh. Well, that's stupid. So this is just like telling me which ones I can pick, I guess, but I still got to pick from this list over here. I should just be able to click it from this selection. Okay, well, let's see. Point blank shot. You get a plus one bonus on attack and damage rolls to ranged weapons that ranges up to 30 feet. This would be good if I did want to stick to my sort of archer character. You know what, let's just keep him as an archer. It doesn't fit with the tower shield. He's kind of got a mixed personality, but... There might be some... At some point, maybe I can uh, retrain him or get rid of that. Oh, yeah. See, this is just not going to work. I don't even have a... Sh I can't use a shield with a crossbow. I need to... Why is he a tower shield specialist anyway? Any way to get rid of that? You know, I don't... This is really annoying. But I guess if it's going to force me to stick with this... Uh, tower shield business, I should... Not do point-blank shot. Let's do the heavy armor focus. stinks I don't know why they gave him I should have you know there probably was a way to like choose something else but since we're gonna be stuck with tower shield <laughs> it's like might as well just go with it just roll with it um, okay, let's just do the automatic ones for these guys precise shot and weapon focus longbow he's enough I am yours to command. Yours to command. She's also a fighter. She gets deadly aim and bravery. Excellent. Ooh, cool. And we need to rest these guys up. Go ahead and loot from the chief. Let's see. I don't you think back. anybody else has spells, right? No. Okay, so rest. You cannot rest here. He specifically said I could. Ooh. A wooden mug. Didn't he say I could? Here, what is going on? Is there a designated rest area? Ah, oh, human face at last. And here I thought that I'd be gazing upon the twisted visages of those troglodytes for the rest of my life. Old Horgus Gworm. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Horgus Gworm. Hergus Gorm, an elderly man in expensive but not ostentatious clothes, approaches you. His face is peppered with several healed cuts and twisted in an expression of extreme discontent. <sighs> Let me introduce myself. My name is Horgus Gorm. Yes, that Gorm. You have no doubt have heard of me if you've spent any time at all in the city. I have a business proposition for me. What kind of business proposition? I don't know what is happening on the surface right now, but I am determined to find out. You have no intention of seeing out the rest of your days in this village, I suspect. You must find a route back to the surface. You seem like a strong warrior, blah, blah, blah. 
You are strong. It will be no trouble. My proposition is simple. Lead me back to the city and I shall pay you a thousand gold coins. Camellia thinks we should help him. <laughs> Money first. Ooh, we do have a pretty high diplomacy bonus. I may be able to get that. Ah, failed. Why not 10,000? No, let's not be miserly. I said 1,000, that's my offer. Fine. Splendid. In the meantime, I shall sit here in the village. When you find the way out, be sure to tell me. Okay. Let me just take a quick gander here at these options, make sure I didn't somehow inadvertently turn the uh, voice acting off. No, voice on. Voice acting, tutorials, no pause. Yeah, maybe they, maybe there's not full voice acting. I thought I read somewhere that somebody said everything was voice acted. Maybe I was lied to. Maybe I have to talk to him to rest, about the only thing I could figure out. Uh, can I just clarify? Are we Uplanders prisoners or guests here? No guests. Where did we rest? Move out. Oh. Hut for resting. bag for looting a crooked paw you know at some point I'm gonna have to try to figure out this crafting system skip time camp map journal character inspecting a creature that's interesting I should look at that Information, inventory. Let's see. Spellbook. Encyclopedia. Map. Creatures. Oh, this is neat. You know, I might have to be in camp before I can craft. I leave. Ooh. You follow. More loot. Mutated fish. Yum. Onwards. It's already microwaved for your convenience. More goodies. Just take your fish. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Old smoking pipe, silver powder. This is a Nivea. This tragedy may not have happened if you'd spent less time surveilling honest citizens and more time tracking the real spies and demon worshippers. <laughs> If only the cultists would tell us they were cultists, then we wouldn't have to waste time investigating honest citizens. What's the bad blood between you two about? Anivia, how's the leg? Well, it hasn't fallen off yet, so that's good. I'll be right as rain, so I'm waiting. I guess we should ask her about the bad blood. It's an old matter. This is Turbade here. Turbade. Here had the notion of spying on me, then of rummaging through my goods. I ask you, do I look like a cultist? <laughs> hmm. Cultists don't tend to look like cultists, you know. That's kind of the whole problem. Well, I don't know. I can spy a cultist, I think. And you, Mr. Gworm, built the whole secret operation of buying and smuggling into the city. What was it? Oh, yeah, magical weapons. How was I supposed to know all that rigmarole with middlemen was so you could anonymously donate supplies to the crusade? 
Orgus Gorm is a hard-nosed business. <laughs> yeah. People that refer to themselves in the third person. Uh, yes, I wish to see that its defenders, my defenders, well-fed, healthy, and well-armed. But to make those donations openly was unthinkable. I might as well hang a sign outside my door welcoming in every sponger, leech, and parasite in the city. Clearly a good guy. No jokes, you're an all right bloke. Bloke. Carrying on. What the hell's going on? I don't want to get involved in this. Let's go. Go on then and don't dilly dally. Take care of yourself. Alright, so I guess she's out of the party now. Ooh. Ooh. Vendor. Dira, Dira can buy the trophies you brought from the caves and sell you something you might need. For example, potions of flying wounds. Call me Dira, let's trade. Yes, you want to make sure you have at least four dialogue options for every vendor. Let's see, what is this button? <laughs> like the one thing I would actually like to know, and of course there's no tool tip. What does this do? What does this button do? Masterwork. Non-magical. Oh, I think I know what that does, yeah. Yeah, so this is what d determines whether it's bulk. Okay, we can sell that garbage. I guess this stuff must be... What was this? Um, how do I sort this? Is there a sort? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sort, sort! Is that what that is? No. Oh, this must be it. Okay, there we go. Let's do type. Okay, uh, so we could probably sell some of this stuff, like crossbow, sell, uh, comma, sell it, I guess, mace, great sword. I guess the rest of this stuff I could probably use. Deal. And we have 305 gold. Could buy some bracers. What's he got here? Thick pads. I need heavy armor, is what I need, not light armor. What does she have on? Oh, she doesn't have any armor. I oh, might want to. Not that I have enough gold. You see, it would have been just too much work to have your gold displayed somewhere where you could see it at all times, right? <laughs> just too hard. Alright, 300 gold. So about all I can afford is... Oh, no, there's some, uh... There's some better armor here. Quiver of cold iron ammunition? The owner of this quiver can use it to shoot 20 units of cold iron ammunition. So I guess that's a one-off deal. Mutated fish. Alright, let's see if we can sort this a little bit better. Okay, now my dude has... Oh, crap. Uh, let's see, what is he... What weapon should I give him? He's got a weapon proficiency, a short sword. So I guess a short sword would be ideal. And some heavy armor. Okay, let's see what we can do. Much as it pains me, <laughs> let's give him a short sword. Alright, there's the short sword. And I think he needs a tower shield, right? No, he doesn't even have heavy armor. No, 
he's wearing padded armor now, one armor class. I guess this hide armor is a little bit better. Go ahead and get in that. Where are the shields? Shields. I guess he doesn't have shields for sale. Let's do this then. You always like doing this. You put, you get the hand-me-down armor. Okay. Um, he uh, can't wear armor apparently. She can though. Let's put that on. That means her bracers are now useless. You know, two gold. No, no, no. What's this? Longsword's a little bit better, I think, than that flail. Or her backup weapon, right? So I don't think he can use that. Or can he? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's cool. So now we've got everybody should be optimized. As well as can be expected at this juncture, I think. Let's see that <laughs> you should always loot before you buy there's probably a short sword in this loot I'm looking for a tower shield that's what I really need Move out. I'm going to go ahead and put my guy in the lead since he's uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't sleep until we looted every last bag. Loot, loot, loot. Hundreds of hours of gameplay. You follow. That's the kind of spot I would have snuck in a little secret. Oh, I received item, bloodshot eye. Onwards. That's what I always wanted. You know what? A bloodshot eye? I guess I can't go up that way. And cheap saw. I don't want to go back that way. Oh, let's just rest. Uh oh, cutscene. It's time. We're heading out now. Land won't get in our way. Wind dog breathes in deeply through her nose. As a, her eyes narrowing in concentration, like she's trying to taste the air to detect even the faintest scents. Apparently, she gives an approving nod. Yes. You dealt it. <laughs> it's time to what? Are you watching me sleep? Are we just going to leave Horgus and Anivia here? Are you sure the maze is the only way to the surface? Yes. I want to get my thousand gold. Getting you all out at once will be difficult. We'll let the injured woman recover. Do you think I like knowing there are uplanders sitting in our village? But trying to drag an injured person through the maze would be suicide. And don't even get me started on the other one. He's not going to get off his backside unless we send the litter to carry him. Well, what are we going to do? I guess we have to just go. Right, and another thing. You could have chosen not to listen to me, but you did. That means you have real strength in you. A strong person can take the truth even if they don't like it. And the truth was on my side. I want to say, when dog averts your eyes, thank you. You saved the tribe from a stupid mistake. <laughs> They're alive because of you. <laughs> I'm liking her more and more. Now let's go to the boats. Get there fastest by water. Get to the boats, eh? Where are these boats? Is that the boats? 
Where are the boats? Where am I? Let's move already. Oh, down to four people. Move out. I'm thinking I click here, like at the shield maze. Formation. Most of them use shadow attack your most vulnerable party members. I'm always going for my members. Yeah. You can always use the optimal formation instead of adjusting your party's formation manually. Uh, this will align your party automatically. Putting the strongest blah blah blah. Alright, what is this? This button. Optimal auto formation. Just leave it on there. Okay. Head on. Ooh. Shield maze. Oh, I just love a good maze. <laughs> Am I? Can I go this way? You fall. Where am I? this music man. it's really been good throughout the whole game so far I could squeeze through there shield maze I'm gonna turn the turn base combat back on <laughs> I feel like something's about to happen monitor lizard oh seven points of damage wow let's see she's got a point blank shot I have to turn that on this ability forces you to come into 30 feet range of the enemy you're attacking to sure to ensure you gain the bonuses from point blank shot feet. Oh, okay. So this basically this basically just makes it's kind of like uh, helping you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's in case you can't figure out your distance. It's like training wheels, I suppose. Okay, well let's go ahead and They'll use that. Beg me to stop. No match for me. She dealt ten damage. Good. Here's our rapier wrist. Uh, how tough is this thing? He's almost dead. I don't think we really need to call out all the stops I'll here. You wide open. The spirits demand your blood. Let's hear you cry. Missed that short sword. The Missed. Oh boy. The inheritor. <laughs> so he gets another round. Am I getting the flanking bonus from here, or do I need to run around? That's what I don't know. Let's see, can I get here and try it? You are today's sacrifice. It's not saying anything about flanking. Out of my way! Oh, I did get a critical hit though. Now what's this stuff? Oh, that's your lay on hands. Okay. The light. Yes. Oh, it gets another round. This will leave a bruise. Jeez, that sucks. No match for me. Skin, Windu, nature check failed. Wow, she took a lot of damage. Everyone is mortal in this me. world, see. especially. Move back up. Oh, that didn't heal. What's that? Four points? Come on. Jeez. Rely on me. I'm really ain't gonna have to use a potion. I might as well use this wand. There we go. 
Let's just leave it there for now. Too happy with that performance. Now look, that has got to be a secret door. I mean, you might as well have a sign pointing at it saying secret room. <laughs> Do I have to search? Is there a search now? Move out! Oh, come on now. Ferocious monitor lizards. I guess we can squeeze through here. Hmm. Like there's one that's lit. There's one that's not lit. What the hell is this place? Oh, lore religion. I am helpful, am I not? Boss Relief of Baphomet, Demon Lord, Lord of the Minotaurs, and Lord of the Labyrinth. I lead, you follow. Pretty cool temple. Ooh, we got a cultist. See, that's what I'm saying. You can tell occultists when you see them. They're not... <laughs> All that talk about being so hard to tell who's a cultist. Let's just go for it. Into the front. They will break against uh oh, where those guys come from? Oh, they got crossbows, too. Alright, this could get messy. Charge! I can tell already I'm not going to like that short sword. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find in a game like this, though. I mean, for all I know, the best weapon in the game is, like, the, the short sword. So how does this work now? So it's just... They'll beg me to stop. That's it. Go for their hearts! One down. Let's hear you cry. Why is he going so slow? Is he over overloaded? No. The inheritor, guide my blade. What is the deal? I'll rip you apart. Neophyte sharpshooter information updated. Base. Base. Must be the. Oh, what's this stuff? Scroll of Light Wounds. Pick the lock 90%. Break the lock, pick the lock. I hope you appreciate this. Use the trickery skill. Right, right, right. All that for an agate. Alright, now who can... Oh, so the paladin can use that too. Probably should give it to my spirit hunter though. Found a masterwork glaive, a dagger, and a light armor, a chain shirt. It's better than that. Padded armor. Okay, slowly but surely. Gaining power. <laughs> Look at these guys. Let's see what they got on. Oh, a bunch of crap. Heavy crossbow. And I don't know about this game, but they're... The other game, you could easily... Easily get uh, overburdened with stuff. Yeah, this game has it too, looks like. Still doing okay for now, but... 
I want to keep an eye on that. I think next battle I'll try to use one of those inflict wound scrolls just to see if it's anything I want to bother with. Okay, looks like there's only one way forward. Onwards. Traps. Uh, yeah, perception. Okay, so you use the perception to. And if you, they succeed, you will see a zone that if entered. Okay. The, so it uses perception to see the traps and then trickery to try to disarm the trap. The, the trap. Why is that not. Oh, oh come. Reload. <laughs> no. No, I'm not accepting that. Let's try that again. A little bit less silly this time, thank you. Pay attention. Okay, there's the trap. How do I... How do I disarm this trap? Oh, there it is. Oh, weird. So... What? What? Oh, I guess this is the... What am I looking at here? <laughs> so the trap is here, but the effect is there, I guess. Okay. I hope you appreciate this. All right, she got that. Ooh, what's this? Elemental essence. This reagent can be used to brew potions or scribe scrolls. Yes, I'm, I'm so glad we're getting all these reagents. Uh, it's just it's so useful so far gotta be some enemies in here look at that that is a room designed for ambush okay these are magic there's a scroll of prayer I'm getting a bunch of these scrolls scroll of bears endurance I guess nobody can like memorize it Leather armor. And more scrolls. Term of the Minotaur. Sermons from the Labyrinth. Oh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Move out. the last oh, oh, one for oh. me. Yeah. Who is this guy? Baphomet cultist. Not oh, like I can't that. charge. Crap. Die! Light of the angels. You summon a soothing light, warming the hearts of your allies, obscuring the vision of your enemies. Oh, okay, so I got like a sort of a blessed thing. Let's hear you cry. Because I'm an angel. I'll rip you apart. I'll cut you wide open. I'll catch you! Whack. Into the fray! Run that through! Oh, he's down. Ooh, what's this? Medium armor. I got some interesting looking stuff there. Scroll of protection from law. Communal. Lawful creatures. So I guess that's something the bad guys would like to have. And we got some uh, breastplate. Oh yeah, that's way better. Way better. And I think that's probably about... Looks like I got some weapons too. Punching dagger. Glaive, dagger, 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 crossbow. Yeah. Ah, not this time. Camellia, lore, religion check. Failed. I see something over there. Some more scrolls. 
Scroll, scroll of restoration. Happy to know from experience how valuable that is. I thought I already looted that. More scrolls. Shells chock full of books. Oh, that was an exciting room. I lead. You follow. Hello. Huh? What's that? That, my dear, is loot. A carved urn. Onwards. Hmm. Shield maze. Why is this called the shield maze? I'll bathe in your oh. blood. Cultist champion. Out of my way. Can you get there? Yeah. Probably could have planned this better. <laughs> Ooh. Ha. Ah. Thank you. Yeah, now for the her, I want to see blood. about that scroll. She probably can't use this time. Die. Miss. They'll beg me to stop. <laughs> Why does he have a skull on him? That's famous last words. <laughs> no glory without risk. Oh, I got him though. Hit him hard that time. All right, let's see about this scroll of inflict serious wounds. Let's try that. Out. Oh. So he gets a free attack if I try to use that. Great. You are today's sacrifice. One more hit, and this guy's out. I'm gonna take a potion. Let's hear you cry. Miss. Man, I might not survive this. For me. He gets another attack. This pain is oh. excruciating. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something different here. Let's see. Lay on hands, smite evil. It's probably a pretty good start. Into the fray. Alright, this will be tough, but I think. Just might be able to survive it. <laughs> okay, take your potion. Uh, let's see, what has she got here? Dismiss spell. She's got blast. She's got scroll. There, there must be some something I'm missing here. That can't be that crappy. Just try to use might still get him. Let's see. Run them through. He's almost dead. Maybe she'll come through for us. Come on, no, don't miss. Four damage. He's gotta be almost dead. Oh, this stinks. He gets another attack. You missed. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Do not the miss. Take miss. Me. I'll cut you wide open. Oh, come on. What's he got? Like half a point left? Don't apply. Ah. <laughs> that was tough. Cultist champion. Yeah, he better have some good stuff. All kinds of loot in here. Hell yeah. Loot everything first, then let's see if we got any good stuff. Lock picks. Move out. Okay. There's still something else. Okay. Ooh, looks like I can rest in here too. Might need to do that. All right, let's see what all we got here. 
a masterwork falcata whatever the hell that is dueling sword because that's somehow substantially different <laughs> than a long sword or short sword cold iron masterwork javelin we got a war hammer we've got a sickle apprentice lock picks what do i do with that how do I use this? Okay. Chain shirt, buckler, long spear. Baphomet cultist's heavy shield. Oh, well. Yeah, that's double the... That's double good. <laughs> double better. And then I've got this... Scale mail, which is five armor. A little better. Uh, yeah, a little better. Okay. Let's see. She's got a rapier. She's got a long sword. All right. Good. Is it just my imagination or did his hit points go up just then? Hmm. Let's see, how do you rest? Camp. During the travels, the characters need to rest. While resting, they regain lost HP, prepare spells, and remove some negative effects such as fatigue and exhaustion. You can assign up to two characters to every position at the camp. One character can't occupy more than one position. So, there's three pages of this. <laughs> Do we really need this much complexity for resting? So I got four people. Let's... She does protective rituals. She's doing camouflage. I see you over there. Um, what does that little bag mean? Shift. Shift one, shift two. You know, I'm not even going to try to figure this out. Just rest. <laughs> think that any strong female warrior must eschew bathing and grooming entirely? A thin excuse for primitive habits. Oh no, a warrior must always smell of flowers and toss out fancy surface words. It doesn't matter. You'll remember this conversation when you're begging for scraps at the foot of my giant throne. We'll see how pretty you look then. This is why I like her so much. This is why. It was worth betraying my friends. <laughs> Continue. Okay, so I guess... Rest took two days? So it looks like they've gotten rid of that idea of the rations. That's good. I never did like that. Right, and it all is saved for me. The heartbeat quickens. Ooh, what are these corrupted mongrels? I'll say they're corrupted. What is that on their heads? Let's just do that. The inheritor, guide Yeah, let's just do this one. Real team with Thor's combo. Windu looks at the Mongol's corpse, her lips curling, and then turns away. Well, are we going? Are we going or what? Who is that? You never told me this maze of yours was crawling with cultists. Who's? That? Let's go. I want to get out of here. Yeah. Right. Now do you see why I didn't want Lan and the others to come here? They shouldn't know what happens to the people who venture here. The ones we killed today were mourned long ago. Let's keep it that way. 
Saving game is impossible. <laughs> it's just impossible. I am helpful, am I not? Now you can save it though. Some more loot. There. The spirits demand your they blood. Break against our resolve. Sharpshooters. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna keep picking this stuff up. I know there's a weight limit eventually. Hopefully we're... All these melee characters, surely I've got a little bit of a... Oh, it already says medium encumbrance. I am helpful, am I not? I lead. You follow. Suffers. What is medium encumbrance? 83% travel speed. Reduced. Get tired faster. Well, you know what we can do? We can do the weight, right? Weight in descending order. And then we have to do this game where that's like worth 12 gold. That's only worth 3 gold. That's worth 25. So probably want to hold on to that. This leather armor's basically worthless. Okay, that should be a little bit lighter. Ooh, what's this? I don't think I'm in a black metal concert. It's Onwards! None shall escape! You are today's oh, sacrifice. oh, another champion. <laughs> and a magic user. Don't like that spell casting. He's almost dead, though. Oh, but I'm almost dead. Jesus. Let's do the lay on hands. Ooh, that didn't heal very much. Alright. Those champions aren't to be messed with. I'll watch your back. Almost new diary. Life is bleep. Well, my brethren, although what kind of brothers are they really? They're having a great time up on the surface. I'm stuck down here with Hustle of the Nightmare and the Mongrel Scum. To top it all off, a pipe sprung a leak, an elemental is smashing up the kitchen, and Hustle is sending it to slaughter everyone it meets in the maze's pathways. This isn't how I pictured serving Baphomet. <laughs> this isn't how I pictured it. No, I thought there'd be a lot more electric guitar, for one thing. Light, another light crossbow, pierced punching dagger. Uh, another heavy shield. Uh, more scale mail. Let's see, how about that scale mail? Is that... Anybody have worse than five? Nope. More loot. Unfortunately, I took so much damage, we're going to have to uh, heal up a little bit. What's on your mind? I wonder. Back to green. Let's do one more. Okay, very good. You know, it's definitely you know it's gotten noticeably more difficult. That's that's good. It, it didn't stay easy for long. Mix of spices. 
You know, I should, uh, next time I rest, I want to see if I can figure out this cooking. Over there. Right, there's a trap there. Come on, Camellia. I hope you appreciate this. Good, 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 good. What is that? Ooh, a secret room. My favorite kind of room. Potion of Mage Armor. I gotta remember I got all these potions in case I come a get into a really tough battle. Oh, Cold Iron Masterwork Longsword. And a quarter staff. You know, that sword might be better for her. Let's see. Where'd it go? No, that's a. Wait a minute. I had a masterwork short sword all this time? Jeez, I had an upgrade, didn't even know it. Alright, where's that? Let's try the uh, price. Yeah, gold iron. Yeah, she just got a regular long sword. Yeah, that's gotta be better. Now, what does the cold iron do? Uh, known for its effectiveness against demons and fey creatures. So, if I recall correctly, I would surmise that there's some monsters that can't be fought with just regular iron. It's got to be cold, got to be chill. To enable the hints about the creatures you fight, press the inspect button on the interface bar or press the Y key. Press the Y key. I guess that's supposed to work. <laughs> I lead, you follow. And I don't know if I'm just imagining this or this guy's HP just kind of goes up every now. It looked like it moved up. Right. Set press Y. Inspect a creature. Do I have to click on him? Oh, wow, look at all this. Jeez. Neophyte cleric over there and a cultist over there. They'll beg me Let to me stop. draw the first blood. Yep. Divine favor. <laughs> Thank you, uh. I want to reconsider your religion. Oh, what's this? A dart. <laughs> Nothing even worth picking up. Onwards. What is that thing? Club? Scroll Shield of Faith. Master of Glaive. Yay. Loot. I was stealing out the offering bowl. Offering Go plate. Go for their hearts! Die! No match for me. What the heck is this? What the? Man, this place looks pretty badass. The door to one of the sections of the maze is locked. There must be a way to open it. Hint, hint. Pay attention. Uh oh, okay. What do I do in this situation? You can trust me. Ooh, look at this. So you gotta like sneak. Okay. That's nifty. I am helpful. Am I not? Yeah, that's cool. Move out. 
Just can't wait till we get out of here and get our kingdom. Get that kingdom management going again. <laughs> Just kidding. Holy, what the? A dretch! It would take some amazing grace to save a wretch, a dretch <laughs> like these, huh? I'll cut you wide open. Okay, what's a dretch? Into the fray. Oh, these are evil. Okay, so we should use our. We're gonna just smite evil. Damage reduction. Oh, reduces all damage. Yep, yeah, cold iron. Camellia has just the right key. The world in crimson. Rich. It's a good thing you had a bunch of cold iron weapons in here. That's probably a bad idea in retrospect. Judging by the corpses littered around the summoning site, the cultists did manage to summon a demon in the end. <laughs> oh, so they summoned those things that killed them? That's sad. The light take you! The inheritor, guide my blade! What is going on with this? What does the I mean? Oh, I guess. Oh, okay. So after they're dead, then you can see that little screen. So, <laughs> so that gives me some tips here. Immunity, poison, electricity, resistance. Exceptions. Good or cold iron. That's worth There's another doorway. Head on. The door to the heart of the shield maze is locked with magic. Need key. We haven't been in that little area. Mm -hmm. Over there. Okay, you stay put. Send down the rogue. Where is the? Oh. Where's the trap? Is it outside the room? No reason to pause. What's going on with this? Well. The trap is in here? Oh wow. I am helpful, am I not? So you had to disarm the trap from in the other room. You know, I don't think I've ever seen that done like that. That's pretty cool. A lot more realistic. I hope you appreciate this. Ooh, what's this? A masterwork heavy mace. And just a regular rapier, I guess. I'll take the masterwork heavy mace. Potions of cure light wounds, that's good. Ooh, what's this? Onwards! It's like a water flooded basement. What do we have here? This might be too soon for some of you viewers, unfortunately. Oh, I see somebody here. Corrupted Mongo. No glory with you will make a fine trophy. <laughs> Man, they nailed that. 
when you kill these guys. It's, that's great. Some loot. More loot. Canabras' system of aqueducts channeling water from the river into the city seriously damaged in the earthquake. Move out. More loot. Um, which way should we go? Hostler's orders. Follow these simple rules or you will die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I put that at the top of every every syllabus. Uh, don't bother me unless strictly necessary. Keep the door to the shrine locked with the key I made. I don't care which one of you two holds on to it. You can tear each other to shreds over it for all I care. Don't ever think of setting foot in a ritual chamber. Ever. Ritual chamber. Uh, keep the door to the unfinished section of the maze locked at all times. As a reminder for you feeble-minded vermin, the entrance is sealed using the hidden lever. The torch on the wall next to the door. The door itself is in the room of the blood pool where I sometimes relax. Number five, do something about that damn water elemental already. Do whatever you want. Just make sure it's gone by tomorrow. Find a better hiding place for the paladin sword from the surface. I'll deal with that later. Remember that your life means less than nothing to me. I have plenty of people vying to become the hand of Hasla. Pay attention. <laughs> I love that. We got another masterwork glaive, a dagger, and another breastplate. I think that breastplate might be an upgrade for somebody. Let's see. Uh, he's got one already. She's got something better. It's an upgrade for her. Yep. Go ahead and give her that. Alright. I think we're doing pretty good. What's in here? No, oh, I've already been there. Come back! I can. I have been in this room. You fall. see something over there. Ooh, dang. Ah! Okay. Dangerous enemies. The game contains optional, but especially dangerous opponents or groups of enemies that only the most experienced adventurers can handle. One such opponent awaits you on the other side of this door. The other side of this door? <laughs> okay. Carefully weigh all the risks. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Large water elemental. Well, let's just assume this guy's bad at the bone. Go ahead and use your little ability there. Let's see how this goes. You can always reload and Use turn based. Holy cow! Please tell me we got some more potions. Oh, yeah, we got a few. <laughs> We've got a few. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Assuming he can quaff these faster than they can hit him. Drink it! Yeah. 
I'm so glad they gave you the warning about it, though. After you got into the room. That was slick. Let's see. Do I look at that scroll? No. Okay, let's try this again with a little bit more prep this time. Okay, let's turn the turn based on. Now, okay. what is that? Now, can we loot this before we fight? Yeah, look, every time, I, I think every time I save it, it goes up. So 22 out of 27. Did you see that? Look, when I quick save it, right? It, like, goes up and down real quick. That is, must be a little glitch. I don't know what Let's the significance of it already. is. Alright, let's go ahead and see what type of... Do we have a potion that might help? Yeah, potion of bark skin. What does that do? Uh, natural armor bonus. Okay, go ahead and take that, I guess. And um, but, uh, scroll of bull strength. She can cast that. Looks like. Let's go ahead and cast that. Excellent. Um, don't need to restore yet. I think we should also use this bless. And we got a scroll of shield of faith. I guess nobody can use that. And anything else? What is that? Scroll of prayer. Yeah, use, use that. Okay, and then we got a. Um, don't really know why she'd want wisdom. Yeah, that would be useful though. Okay, we now we can look at some potions. We've got Shield of Faith there. A little extra AC. I don't know if that'll stack. Let's try it. Yep, it does stack. Wonderful. Okay, and then we got these protections from chaos. Potion of protection from evil. I think we've already got a protection from evil going on, though, right? Or do we? Oh, I'll go ahead and take it. Let's go ahead and heal up all the way. You know what? Go ahead and enlarge. And mage armor. I'll save that one. Okay. We should be in a little bit better shape this time. You'll make a fine trophy. He's so big. I'll cut you wide open. Charge! Cool. You know, the only thing is, I'll probably be missing every They'll time. Beg me to stop. Something about making themselves bigger makes them miss. All right, but he he missed. Oh, he's he's got cleave too. He still missed. Guide my blade. He is a dangerous critter. Okay. After the battle, you can dismiss area spell effects at will. You must be out of combat. You can dismiss area spell effect. Okay, let's just attack. The spirits demand your blood. Attack. Oh yeah, I'm doing a lot better now, but he's he's a dangerous enemy. He still missed. No glory without prep work sometimes is all you need. You are today's sacrifice. Even that cold rapier is still Go for their hearts. Even that cold iron is still getting reduced. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, he gets another attack. And he missed. Oh. I'm starting to think I over prepped for this. Oh, got him. Oh. Extra tough encounter. Done. Only the most experienced adventurers stand a chance. Kitchen smelling of burnt fat and garlic. Food was clearly cooked here in vast quantities. We got more secret loot. Oh, ooh, what's this? Ooh, ooh, what is all that stuff? Ooh, I saw some cool stuff. What is it? a ring? Unidentified. Oh. I guess nobody here can identify it. Have to wait till we get to town, I guess, to use that. Yeah, we did. Kill ourselves a water elemental. Corrupted Mongol Guard. I wonder if I could just wear those items. Or is it one of those games where you... Where you have to identify it. What is that thing? Purifying Solution. This magical substance is necessary to clean and safely consume any food in the corrupted wastelands of the world wound. Interesting. Huh. This door has got a strong lock on it. You break every lockpick you have and it still won't budge. Believe me, I've tried. Okay, okay, we know what to do. That was before I found the key to it. It took a few valuables for myself. Ah, take a look inside. You might find something you can use. All right, yeah. Yes. Yeah, see, this is why I. S I'm really feeling good about using hers over the that land guy. I mean, this. Move out. What do we have here? She may be evil, but that's okay. Oh, what's that? Oh, it looks cool. Unidentified. Ooh, oh. They get y'all excited, but it's just a regular old item. That flail was magic. Masterwork. Cold iron masterwork dueling sword worth 200 gold. Yes. Pick the lock. I hope you appreciate this. Potion of Reduce Person. Head on. Okay, so we have searched that area. Where else is there to go? I think we can get down there. No loot behind. Look, there's a room now. Come on. It's pretty cool that it's got the timer going there. I mean, they did a good job on this interface. It gives you a lot of info. It's fairly intuitive. Island, you follow. It's not all over the screen. Save 
Save the last one for me. Corrupted mongrel eyes. brute. Oh, he's he must be a little bit tougher than the average mongrel. Huh. Oh man, this is driving me crazy, all these unidentified items. What? Razor sharp claw. This reagent can be used to brew potions or scribe scrolls. You can use that to scribe a scroll? A fork! Well, it was worth it to get that fork. Well worth it. Where is I? It looks like a room there, but I don't know how to get to it, though. That's one of the things I love about this kind of game, though. There's all these little areas, and you're like, is that a secret room? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You just want to see if you can figure out how to get into it. It adds a lot. I don't know if we got the key to this thing. Oh, there's the torch, look. Spoiler alert, too late. You ruined the game for me, Matt. Uh-oh. Open your heart to me. You know, I don't know if I would still enjoy this little routine after like the 3,000th time, but <laughs> for now, <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. So that room was trapped, so I'm assuming that's where we want to go. You are the day -day a what? Cambian? Cambian? What's that? Masterwork Scimitar. Ooh, composite longbow. Alright, so they were pretty well geared, weren't they? Let's see, uh, let's get that, uh... I don't know, uh, date, yes. Yeah, the, the composite longbow. What does she got? She's just got a regular longbow. Is this composite longbow? Is that considered a different... Let's see, composite. This feature allows you to add your strength bonus to damage with the bow, but that's... Is that the only difference? So does 1d8 of damage versus her bow she's got now, which does... One through eight. So they both do the same damage. It's just, I guess, the one is you could add your strength bonus, but why would you want to when your dex bonus is better? So it's probably, you know, let's just see what it does, but uh, I bet it's not going to make any difference. Damage 1d8 plus 5. So 6 to 13 versus. So it does make a difference. Oh, I guess even... Oh, I guess it stacks then. So she gets her strength bonus and the dex bonus? Well, that's pretty cool. Well, in that case, yeah, it's a nice upgrade. I thought it was one or the other. I guess that would be a finesse. 
weapon. There's another. Ooh, and a secret, uh, secret room. <laughs> Who was the thing? Heavy armor. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and loot everything, and then we'll see what's what. I see some I am helpful. Am mice. I Look at him. Oh, why can't I kill it? Oh, why put a mouse in a game and not let me kill it? That's an upgrade. Okay, that will help. Medium earth elemental over there. Into the he probably fights dirty. Medium. Oh, damn. Get her out of there. Heal thyself. I need to rest up here pretty soon. This is that was quite damaging. Yeah, I guess the guests probably want to give you all those potions. Thirty-three. <laughs> you think that? You think they gave you enough potions? Move out. Make sure that you save every potion you collect for the big battle. Blah blah blah. What? You used all your potions? Okay, I think we're we must be getting close to the end of this thing. Hand of Hosla. The light take a fine troll. Yeah, I don't think that spell's gonna do you any good, buddy. Oh. I didn't like that. Damn. Hostilus key. Uh, I got those orders again. I, do we need multiple copies of it? Probably not. For the masterwork glaive. Some more breastplates. I think everybody's got at least a breastplate on at this point, right? Oh, maybe not her. We need to lose some weight. Guess we can drop that. I'm gonna drop that. Bring it down to light. Okay, the bodies of the maze builders lie where they were caught by the earth elementals. Engraved by the earthquake. Enraged by the earthquake. The builders' tools lie. Scattered next to the bodies. A what? Shin sh ink of some sort. Flail. Head on. Huh? Oh, that's my stuff. Monitor lizard, and then a ferocious monitor lizard. I gotta try to figure out how to raise the skills for skidding. Uh, shiny chitin, forked tongue, lore nature. I need to get wind dogs. Windyog's lore nature skill up, oh, apparently. Oh, this one's only 85%. Let's go ahead and use the lockpick. That'll 
will give me 100%. I hope you appreciate this. Ah, nothing good. Wasted a lockpick. You follow. A large aggressive creature was kept in this cage. <laughs> Judging by the bent bars, that creature is now Onwards. loose. I think I just killed that creature. What, what am I missing here? We got the. I've already been in there. Am I miss? Kind of forgot what we were even doing here. <laughs> Trying to get to the city, I guess. Through the maze? I must have missed a door. I mean, there's a way up. I came that way. No, it's got to be back in here somewhere. Oh, I see. I see. Cool. I like these, these statues everywhere. That just looks Move like out. a trap. I am helpful, am I not? Yes, you are. Why does that? seem a little ominous. <laughs> what in the hell? Another Cambian over there. Head on. No. Oh, I think there's a puzzle coming up. Love puzzles. Oh, hurry up and kill these things. I want to solve that puzzle over there. Pretty grim, pretty dark. Onwards. Now this does seem a bit darker than the original. Okay, do I get any clues? No. Nothing. There's something I'm supposed to do in here. Let's look around. Is there any clues in the room? Okay, blue, red, blue. Green and yellow. Hmm. Huh. Oh, I see bulls. Yeah. See what these symbols are again? Oh, they always appear in sequence. It's just you get to decide what color they are. Oh, I get it. No, it changes the symbols. Because that's a green, whatever that thing is. That's a blue M. It's a red 4. And a yellow thing. I don't 
don't look like they match up to anything I've seen. Move out. Um, <laughs> Let's take a look at my quest items. See what that is? Notable. Almost new diary. Don't see any clues there. Hostilus key. It says the key is inscribed with runes. I don't actually see the runes. <laughs> Am I supposed to be able to see, zoom in on it? Uh, maybe not. Is there anything in the journal? Willy, 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 well. Where might the clue be? Mother. Surely it's not just trial and error. Let's see. This guy looks... Oh, here's something. Oh, it's kind of hard to make it out. Let's get the team back in here and take a look. I think there's something on this wall. Yeah, look. Am I supposed to be able to read that? Because, uh, yeah, I can't read that. That's a symbol, though. Let me write that symbol. I don't think that was one of the symbols I could I could draw though, right? Yeah, it's just the same symbol as that. Well come on, there's gotta be a clue. I don't think that's the clue though. Let's see, what about in here? No. Where would they put the clue? How devious do you think they are? So we know it's got something to do with colors and symbols. Can I explore all the way out here? I think I did. Okay, and I went all the way that way. <laughs> you know, at this point, the game has definitely got its fangs into me. <laughs> you know, this is, you can tell this is one of those, oh my god, I've been playing this for how long? It's six in the morning. I gotta go to work. What? I see some targets in here. Looking. F Not really sure what I'm looking for. Really well designed levels too, I think. No, nothing in there. Well, huh. It's not there. Oh, what's this? There's some paintings. Four paintings, one's yellow, yellow, blue, red, yellow, maybe? Could that be it? Could try that. 
There's a green and a red. There's another pattern there. Nope. I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, wait, what's this? Alright, there's a green. Maybe it's the statues. So he's green. He's definitely green. Alright, and then there was another. Is that a chest I have it open? There's some statues in this room. I guess they're all pointing. There's those symbols. Huh. Lie on me. I'm gonna figure this out. I don't see those symbols anywhere else. Let's just go back in there and use a little trial and error. Got a couple ideas we could try. Let's try the yellow, blue, red, yellow combo. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me you've been trying to missed virtual reality games supposed to be really good I love those games man very relaxing they're all so satisfying to actually solve the puzzles <laughs> of course it can also be very, very frustrating all right yellow Blue. red and yellow Aha! Am I a genius or what? <laughs> First instinct. <laughs> oh man. You know, I feel like I my intelligence just shot up a couple of points. I mean, I wasn't really that convinced I had the right solution. But there you go. Uh, Seal appears closely at the sword, which seems utterly unexceptional to you. Wait, this is. No, it can't be. I know that hilt. Radiance, the sword of the great Yaniel. That's what this is. But it's meant to be in the Tower of Estrad with all the other relics. That's what I heard, at least. Well, of course this rusted piece of metal must be that very same sword. I think you merely wish that this were the illustrious sword of legend. You don't get it. I've seen this sword a hundred times in paintings and in the hands of the Yaniel statue. I've even thought of going to the Estrad Museum. <laughs> How did it get here? Item received radiance. Do we want to know more? This sword was legendary. People say that when Yaniel held it, the blade would glow, striking demons left and right. You're empathizing with an object? Extraordinary. Are all paladins so tender-hearted? Sensitive in a way, yes. Uh, who is Yaniel? You've never heard of Yaniel? She's famous all over Galarian. She was a great woman. She was born in Mindev, the crusade started. Blah, 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 blah. Incredible warrior, seen to blaze with righteous fury. Yeah, no, I haven't ever heard of her. <laughs> she died as she lived with pride. 
You know a lot about Yan Yol. Are you a fan? I suppose you could say that. How could a relic end up down here? So I'm guessing the sword is significant somehow. I am helpful, am I not? That's just a regular scimitar. Let's see, do we actually get this weapon? It's a long sword. Cold iron masterwork longsword. Oh. Kind of like the one you already had. <laughs> but this one's worth 100 gold less. Yeah, let's go ahead and let her use it. Use that priceless artifact. Onwards. Well, what now? That's it? What do I literally need to do here? <laughs> Hit the mannequin. Oh, that's way... Come on. Am I glitched forever now since I didn't hit the damn mannequin? The last chapter to complete the quest or it will fail. Okay. What are we missing? Don't show completed quests. Devoured by darkness. Okay. Find the survivors. Find the way up. Well, there must be something we haven't done. Have we not done? I guess that must have been just a little secret area. Look. What's this? Is that just a prison cell? Hmm. We got that key, didn't we? There must be uh, there must be a locked door somewhere. It didn't open already. Is it in here? Oh, unlock that. Here it is. Man, how long have I been playing this? I've completely lost track of time. <laughs> You know, I'm thinking maybe once I get through this, uh, once we get out of this first chapter, might be a good stopping point. That should be enough to tell you whether it's a game you're interested in or not. I could keep playing for about another eight hours, but we probably should <laughs> not upload a hundred hour video to YouTube. There we go, unlocked it. Camping. There are tough battles to come. Your heroes are tired and might have run out of spells. To replenish your power, set up camp. Blah, 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 blah. Right, let's try this camping again. Let's see. Rest for the recommended period. Use healing spells and abilities before resting. Centuries, protective rituals. How do you do the cooking then? Automatically assign the characters to the roles. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything here about cooking. Maybe you can only do that when War, you're outside. Dirt, dust, smoke, swill instead of food. These horrible tents instead of a normal bedroom. It's like watching Naked and Afraid. But then again, there are so many opportunities for fun. 
Definitely like watching Naked and Afraid. Protective Rituals, DC-17, Failed to Weaken Impact of Corruption. Not even really sure what that means yet. Chance of attack on campus lower, no incident. So about the only thing I haven't figured out yet is how to cook. Ooh, this looks good. Praise and... Well, I guess that was the wrong thing to say. Huddle together like a herd of animals. Pitiful monsters, not human or demon. Even tieflings are less defective than you. <laughs> Yikes! Come on, let me kill him. But uh, your master Sava Maleki can make you better, stronger, and I can satisfy your hunger. Starblings of the deck. Submit to me. I'm always getting these kind of chain mails. Trusting a demon would be a betrayal of their memory. Yeah! Who's the next descendant of Crusaders who values old legends more than their life? No, why am I just watching all this instead of going down there and fighting? Beasts, monsters, and human guys, reveal your true nature. This is the sweet, wholesome flesh of a righteous ass. <laughs> As a mar. Eat, underground crusaders. Eat the flesh of the crusader from above. Okay, this must be the cannibalism they're talking about. Yes, deeply disturbing. You rush at the demon, but the air seems to grow thicker with every step. You feel like you're watching from underwater as you see the mongrels fall to their knees and crawl to the Asimar's body. You hear their fangs staring through the flesh, the sloshing of blood, and the mongrels snarl like animals. Your companions writhe in agony. One clutches at their head, another doubles over. You feel saliva pool in their mouth. The metallic tang awakens hunger in you. With its citrusy power. What, what the heck's going on? The wretch must die. And still the clarity remains within you. Somewhere deep down beneath the veil of rage and anger, you sense the light trying to break through. <laughs> so I can either take the angel path or the demon path. I'll go angel. By sheer force of will, you master your rage. Almost in response, warmth suffuses you from within. Warmth and joy from simple realization that you can win. You can save these people. The power of heaven bolsters and guides you. Its light breaks free and enveloping them. I love that word, enveloping. Enveloping the mongrels grants them the gift of blissful oblivion. Oh, yes. Lowering your gaze, you see a scarlet stain on your chest. The wound has reopened, and instead of blood pouring forth, you see only radiant light. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that was neat. The demon convulses in pain when the light reaches him. What are you? Destroy this vermin! Now, speaking of vermin, there's one creature. <laughs> A creature I've yet to slay, and I know they're in this game somewhere. He's already wounded. Wouldn't do. Kill. What? Window. Windog takes a step forward. I no longer serve you, you... person. <laughs> Not you. Or your flying monkey. I always fight with the strongest side. Oh, there's Lant! What the? what I miss? A dramatic showdown? Oh, it's you! Perfect. I'll in your blood. What the heck is going on here? She used to serve... Hasala? I'll cut you wide open. Judgment <laughs> protection. Yeah. 
Heal as much as I would like. I thought lay on hands was supposed to be really powerful. Oh, mighty Sava Maleki, your faithful servant invokes you. Demons, protect your mistress. I'll tear your throat out. Oh, these must be the flying monkeys. Closets. Okay, let's go ahead and hit you with a heal. Oh, that worked well. The world in crimson. Yeah, attack the NPC. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. They didn't have a choice. They were forced to do it. Keep telling yourself that, Lamb. There is always, always a choice. choice. They could have chosen to exactly. die, but now they're going to live and become stronger. I know that from personal experience. Shut up! Hey! You're not just a traitor, you're a monster! Hey! The young ones, they believed your stories, and you lured them to a demon and watched them eat human flesh! Look, everybody makes mistakes! I was trying to make them strong. What have you done for them? Yeah. What were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe? You're useless, Lan. Let's kill Lan. I led by example. He's so wordy. Let's just kill him. I don't want to wait for this. Stronger, so I could go to the surface and maybe do something worthwhile with my stupidly short life. And I will do it. I might be the one to bring our whole tribe to the surface. But you? Why would you want any power that turns you into a monster? These young guys and girls, they trusted you. Young guys and, and girls? And they were turned into mindless animals. Young guys? Ready to eat corpses at a demon's command. I went through the same ritual as them, and I didn't become an animal. I conquered my anger. The anger that has been building and building in every one of us for decades. Unlike you, I have no intention of just lying down. I said the same thing when I got my degree. Death. I will rise above all this, while you'll still be stuck with your pride, rats. chewing on rats. Where's speaking of that? <laughs> Where are they? Who do you want at your side? The person who betrayed the demons to follow you? The person who will do everything you say and bring glory to your name. Or this trash. You, you. Inspect the wound on your chest. Man, how did you find the way here? So you've been serving... Uh, questions show... I made my decision, yeah. I hope we're not taking this girl with us. She'll sell us to the first demon she nope. sees. <laughs> If we're befriending monsters in order to fight the demons, why not join forces yeah. with the strongest of them? Isn't that the rational choice? They're both equally hideous. Neither of them will improve the aesthetics of our Oh, land. come on. I like... She looks cool. Well, uh, You're making a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If some priest ever winds up down here, I'll ask him to pray for your soul. But I doubt it'll help you. <laughs> Who cares what you think? The master has made his choice. Lan knows too much. He must die. Damn. You're right. I know everything. And I also know where I'm not wanted, so I think I'll just go and have a chat with Sol. Huh. Kill him. Let him go. Yeah, I think attacking's a little bit too evil. Yeah, if this is you in a good mood, then maybe I'm lucky we're <laughs> parting ways now. Here you go. He got away. Don't worry, Lan, I'll get you. Wait here, Master. 
I will bring Sol and the other Uplanders. We'll make sure that everyone knows that Lan failed to save anyone and fled like a coward. Damn. What have I gotten myself into? Whoosh. Well, I'll be damned. Turns out old Hole Run isn't as crazy as we all thought. Well, there are demons down there. What? You said you were in charge of reconnaissance for the Eagle Watch, Nevia. How could you miss a nest of demons? Nevia, <laughs> how's the leg? <laughs> we dealt with those problems, yeah. I sensed that the maze was an evil place, and so it was. We barely managed to overpower him. When we reached the cultist's lair, that's when we saw Lan. He ran like the coward he is, abandoning the young ones to be mauled by the demon. Yes, Lan is too hasty. Well, we would survive if we listened to people like him. No. You understood, Windog. You saved us. I always thought you were a decent sort. Respect. You didn't look after the young mongrels. They're out for the camp, but when they wake up, Sheep, you'll see that these experiments have made them stronger. Okay, how's the leg? Fine. Better than yesterday. How'd you miss those demons? <laughs> I messed up, but you fixed my mistake, so thanks. I'm going with the Uplanders, Chief. I have to go first. Huh. You always had to go further than everybody else. What can I do? Go on then. I think I've worked it out. If there's a key, there's a door. If there's a letter, then it was intended for someone. Those cheeky sons of... This is all the information on the cultists in the city. Their meeting places, password, their secret hideouts. I think we should show this to whoever's in charge of Kenebris right now. Eyes amidst our ranks. Okay, are we done? What's going on? It's up kind of like we were done. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and sell off our junk here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we identify stuff now. That's cool. Why do I have a fork? Oh, I guess it just automatically IDs everything for you. Need any of this stuff? Ooh, a lot of gold for all that. Crypt Raider's armor. This plus one scale mail grants us wear a plus two insight bonus to AC against undead. That sounds cool. He's got eight armor. So I would definitely take a hit. Might give it to her, I think. Yeah. Kind of makes sense that she would wear that as a cleric, right? Okay, we could sell that armor. Alright. And let's see about this other stuff here. Saving throws against spells with cold descriptor. And plus one to the DC for all saving throws against spells with cold descriptor. So a pretty specific item. I'm losing my temper. Ring of protection plus one. I'm not 
They don't like the stuff I'm giving them? Okay, looks like this must be yeah, the way. The way out of here. Ooh, what's this? How did I miss that? Well, I'm glad they had this screen. Would have left behind some really good loot. Okay, let's just see what we get on the other side of this loading screen, but I think this is probably a good spot. While the survivors yeah, wander perfect. the dungeons, <clears throat> the battle on the surface rages on. The warriors of Canabras are trying to defend Canabras. the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide. All right, so I think we're pretty much done with this. Is that the first chapter or so? Well, okay, let's just go return. Make sure there's... I want a sense of closure for the video, you know? Open the loot. Seems kind of fancy. Just a plain old spear. Hey, look, there's Horgus. Why can't I talk to him? He's following me. Guess we rescued him anyway. Fork before you wearing armor adorned with a mighty golden swords is clearly exhausted. She obviously hasn't gotten much sleep. So she's a, maybe a half orc paladin? Freezes when she spots Anivia. By the goddess, Nebi, I I'd almost lost all hope. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here. I'm here. This here is a new friend. He Unilard! The ball and let us up to the surface. <laughs> I'm right Without here. Him, we'd never have made it out. Let me introduce you to my wife, Arabeth Tirabade, head of the Eagle Watch. Hmm. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warden of Canabras. And you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. And thank you for getting Nevia out of there. What is that? I have information about the location of the cultist den. We met some mongrels. Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's okay. Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Grey Garrison. Most people in Canabras think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerge on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. I'm not superstitious, but the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Having a living legend on our side can't hurt. You know, her voice sounds familiar to me. I can't quite place it. I'm pretty sure I've heard it before, though. I see you are in serious need of help. You're in luck. If my master is with you, then I am with you also. What a great character. Uh, what do we want to say? Uh... 
When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. Wardstone. I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. We must retake it at any cost. Or the fall of Canavis will be the yeah, beginning of the, the end of the must Crusaders. Must protect the stone that's supposed to protect that you us. I a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest. But there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking. That's the spirit. You, take Anavia to the rear. The rest of you with me. <laughs> Horgus. Lord Horgus Gworm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. To the extent that anywhere in Canopolis... Where have I heard this safe. voice before? Ah. Goo goo goo. Loot the recruit. Oh, of course, it's masterwork stuff, so I gotta collect it all. Uh, Staunton. Okay, how do I. Where do we go? What do we do? That's locked. Uh, what? Are we finding something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we gotta fight. Looks like we got some companions, though, or some NPCs helping us out. Wow, look at all this loot. I realize it would, it just shows you all this when you're ready to leave the area, so you don't really have to go in here and pick all this stuff out every time. Scroll of Fire Belly. I'll watch your back. Magnesium Turinos. Let's see, we had to fight for that, so it's... This door probably won't open. You have not completed your mission in the Grey Garrison yet. Now we start another reel here. Okay. Sealed with magic. Potion. Wait a minute. Potion of inflict light wounds? Oh, why the hell would I want that? It's a good thing I read the description of that before quaffing it. I guess if I had an undead character, they could use it. What's going on here? Am I supposed to be hearing dialogue? Because I'm not hearing it. Uh, yep. Uh huh? <laughs> I really think I'm supposed to be hearing some kind of dialogue. Maybe it's all body language. Cowardly traitor, I swear on the sword of I am a day, you will answer for your betrayal. None shall escape! <laughs> yeah! The inheritor, guide my blade! That's pretty. <laughs> Just bless yourself and dare. Can't even tell which guys are mine at this point. Oh no! Don't kill that character. Amelia!
Wretches. Man, why do they keep going for my rogue? Never take a potion. Actually, she's got some. She has some scrolls she can use to heal herself with. Potion. Well, I guess I can't do that in battle. You are today's sacrifice. That looks like some nice chain, man. I'll go ahead and pick that up. You can trust me. Trust. You know, you can always trust people that always say, you can trust me. Oh, man. Locked. 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 You got a lot of scrolls. I hope I get a wizard character here eventually. Just a regular old short sword. The door won't budge. Looks like that content was never developed. This is no time to be looting everything. Nope. Almost walked out of there without that masterwork scimitar. run out of time we've got to get this game out the door <laughs> but wait I haven't finished with the eyes <laughs> just go 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 what an unexpected surprise Staunton my little sweetheart long time no see Staunton Who's? You again, you wench! Looks like a dwarf warrior. Minago, the one who. Be careful. She's one of the deadly creatures you all know and hoard. She was once responsible for a massacre in Canabras. She must be back to finish what she started. Who is Thornton, and why should I care? <laughs> Hey, demon woman, what's wrong with your face? Yeah, sure. sure a winch is not actually a, like a negative thing, right? Doesn't it just used to... Uh, is that a curse word? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is. Winch. 
Yes, I guess a succubus is that the connotation here. No, my dear, that was entirely your own doing. I'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat. Who's good and who's bad? Now, Staunton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips. Sounds like some kind of cheese. I'll kill you. So whose side are we on in this? They will break against our resolve. She made a prince-like exit. Out of my way! This could get ugly. Oh, yes. Oh, very, very ugly indeed. Damn. That hit, hit hard, whatever that was. What the hat? These potions aren't really very good either. Damn it! That sucks. Crap, I guess I should have known. Prep for this battle. It stinks. They could have given you a little bit of warning. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Battle for weight. Damn, though. No. Guess we better get some kind of healing. Some armor scrolls or something. Okay, what do I have that might help here? Um, potion of blur. Yeah, sure, use that. Potion of bears of endurance, yes. Potion of Mage Armor. Yeah, that might be good for her. Let's go ahead and use... Oh. <laughs> okay, I gotta get rid of that stupid... Uh... I think there's a Bless in here somewhere. Yeah, use the Bless. Okay, that should help a little bit. Pretty tough fight. Have I pleased you? <laughs> Surely we're about done with this first chapter. You know that first Pathfinder game was long. I don't know how much longer this one is by comparison. Seemed like I worked for months on that game. Which that used to be the norm. I mean, you'd buy a game like this expecting to <laughs> last for at least two or three months. Congratulations. You made it all the way here. Alright, here's the wardstone. Your precious wardstone. Well, what are you planning to do now, hmm? I could kill you where you stand. But wouldn't it be nice if you could die in battle like heroes? No one. I want you to die in despair, scrabbling around like rats in the blighted ruins of your city, blind and broken, rats. your flesh scabbed and seeping, and every moment knowing precisely what was done to you. Yeah, it's like divorce court. There isn't a soul that can resist the temptations of the abyss. Even a stone can be turned. Can we get her in the party? Your precious Wardstone, weakened from the injury inflicted by Discari, has almost succumbed to my charms. Soon the awful barrier around the world wound, the gift of your useless goddess, will be a weapon of the abyss. Just a little more, and 
Boom. <laughs> Every city with one of these eyesores stuck in the eyesores? Moment, from Canabras to Nerosian, will turn into smoking craters and all the mortals into red sludge beneath our hooves. So you have a choice. Especially you, my pet. <laughs> Kiss me on my dainty hoof. Pledge your loyalty to Baphomet. My and dainty the hoof. Falls, its ruin shall be yours. We've had some wild nights. Never quite that wild. What do we do? She's a demon, right? Stop your demon attack. Cut them to pieces! Okay, activate that thing. Let's just see how we do. This might be a reload prep situation. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's try that. Oh my god, hurry! Those fights we're not supposed to win. I'm tired of playing around now. Yeah, it looks like you have right. to lose that what battle. Happen when I'm done with the ward stone? Here's a little demonstration. Oh, I hate those battles. I'm pretty sure there was no way we're gonna win. Now. Your evil spells won't stop a righteous army. Are we still fighting? No. Flat <laughs> point. You must be humbled. Foolish player. Praise Ioma Day. You woke up. Healing your wounds was easy, but you were unconscious for so long. I was starting to worry <laughs> we'd lost you. Did we win? Sadly, no. Well, here's 920 experience. We couldn't stand up to the demoness. Her spells were too strong. <sighs> it's all right. We'll handle it somehow. You blacked out, but Staunton and I managed to get you here to the Defender's Heart. The Defender's Heart. It used to be a tavern, but now it's our headquarters. We're gathering our forces here, and we're preparing <sighs> to strike. I can hear that ale drinking music. Demons have been filling Canabras with their spies and infiltrators for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't have enough people to attack the place right now. At least not blindly. I'd be grateful to you. if you snuck in there and scouted out the situation. But just scouting. Don't be a hero. Wait. <laughs> don't be a hero. What you did in the Grey Garrison yeah. convinced me. You're one of the best warriors left in the city. We need someone with your wits and fighting strength. I know I can't command you, but I'm asking you. Help us fight for Canabras. Well, since you put it that way. What, to do with the stone once we get it. what I'm about to say is classified. A traveler came to the city recently. A blind elf calling himself the Storyteller. Mm, sounds familiar. He insisted he be allowed to examine the ward stone, and he raised the alarm when his study was finished. Even before the demon attack, he had found some damage or flaw in the stone. Prelate Hulrune dismissed his words as nonsense, borderline blasphemy. But between you and me, the prelate's opinion isn't worth much. I think the storyteller knew what he was talking about. We could use his advice right now. If only we knew where he was. <laughs> I remember the storyteller spent a lot of time talking to Staunton, a dwarf from my unit. You saw him during the demon attack. The elf asked him about the history of the Crusades. Maybe the storyteller told Staunton something about where we Staunton. could find him if anything happened. There's another problem. After the attack, the All demons right. began to gather their forces at the Grey Garrison. It'll be even harder to take them with a head on assault. 
But I once heard soldiers talking about a secret entrance to the garrison. Trouble is, I have no idea where to look for it. While you explore the city, please keep your eyes open. In case you find something we can use. And one last thing. The Eagle Watch has lost a lot of soldiers recently. Some were that. killed, okay. but others simply haven't been seen since the attack. In the chaos that is now Canabris, it's next to impossible to confirm anything for sure. <clears throat> One of the missing fighters is Janna Aldori. A new recruit in the Watch. She got along well with Sila, and she often went drinking with her. I honestly thought Sila and Janna had died together. But now Sila's returned with you, and there's no sign of Janna. If you learn anything of her whereabouts when you're out in the city, please report back. May the goddess help you. We're still fighting, which means that Canabra still hasn't fallen. Mm -hmm. If you come across any groups in the city that can fight, send them here to the Defender's Heart. We'll need every fighter we can muster for the final All assault. Right, are we done? <laughs> yes, one more thing. If you're in the area, check out this address. It's our house. Mine and Anevia's. Well, it was our house. If the building is still standing, open the hidden compartment in the kitchen. It's filled with supplies for a rainy day. You I hope there's some Twinkies in there. You have more need of it. Okay. <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> 13 volumes later. And I think that... Uh, are we still in chapter one? Well, maybe we're going to exit out here, I think, anyway. Uh, I think this is enough for... Uh, uh, the first video, anyway, covering this game. I have to say, I'm really, really enjoying this. You know, people uh, I talk to about the game said that it's it's like the first Pathfinder game, but better. A lot of the stuff has been improved. A lot of the problems that people had with the first game have been rectified or improved somewhat here. And I think, you know, so far, that seems to be the case. Uh, you know, that kingdom management stuff didn't happen for a while in the first game. So, <laughs> and so I don't know. You know, I'd want to play it some more before I was, you know, really definitive about my uh, review. Uh, but just based on this section I've, I've played so far, you know, I think this holds up really, really well. Uh, the combat feels good. It's challenging without being, you know, over the top or too easy. You know, it seemed like this normal difficulty level is working out pretty well. Uh, you know, it's not leveling me up super fast. Which is one of the things I had about the first game. It just seemed like I never got used to my abilities before I already had some more to play with. Uh, this seems a little bit more balanced in that regard. You know, you, you've got I've got stuff here I haven't really fooled around with yet. Well, that would be fun to try, experiment with. Uh, you know, I need to try to find a wizard character and learn these spells. And, you know, even a pretty basic character class. I feel like there's you know, plenty of uh, interesting ways to uh, level them up and things to do. Uh, I'd probably want to and I don't know if I'd want to finish the game with this character. I might want to redo the first part with a, maybe a magic user. Just seems like that's something that's, that's missing, at least in this first bit. Uh, but, you know, then again, it could be fun to uh, continue on with my character here. Uh, graphics? Yeah, Everything looks really good to me. I don't have any complaints at all in those regards. I think they did some cool things with particle effects. You know, you can tell it's not like a super high budget game. A lot of the stuff is just told told to you through the dialogues rather than shown in some kind of a, you know cinematics or cutscenes. But that bothers me exactly zero. <laughs> I'm perfectly willing uh, to do that. Uh, you know, some parts are a little text heavy. You know, it tends to plague these sorts of games. You know, I could do with a little bit more concision, but uh, it's not too bad. You know, I give it maybe a... Let's just put it this way. <laughs> I played games that were a hell of a lot uh, wordier than this one. Uh, this one, you know, could use a little trimming here and there, I think, but otherwise it's uh, really good. Uh, so there you go. I definitely have no intention whatsoever of stopping here. You know, I want to continue on play this game. This will probably be a good... A good game to play over the next few months at least i uh, see where that takes me but uh, i'm going to stop it here and just say i really recommend it uh if you you know if money's not a problem for you go ahead and buy it now i think it's i think it's worth 50 bucks uh, that they're charging for this uh, otherwise you know it'd certainly be a steal uh, as it, it goes on sale 
or as it gets, you know, it's been out for a while, they might knock you know, 10, 10 or twenty dollars off the price. But yeah, I just say, uh, just go ahead and get it. Uh, I want to support these uh, developers. I think they're doing really good work, and you know, we need, we need more of these kinds of games <laughs> uh, to play. I really don't have any serious issues or problems with it, you know, other than the this armor blurry issue. I don't quite know what to make of that. That might even fix itself if I restarted the game. Uh, that's ten ty type of arrow tends to fix itself. I still haven't really gotten to the crafting system, so I don't have any comments to make about that at the moment. Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't want to spend like 10 hours on this video, so I'll just stop it here. Again, get the game if you can afford it. I think you'll like it. I'm having a good time with it, but I will stop it here. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. And that's all for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, sorry that it's taken so long to get an episode out. As you probably know, uh, this <laughs> the summer is over. The new semester has started, the new school year. And this, uh, first, uh, you know, uh, as a college student, you tend to get busiest, I guess, around the end of the semester, you know, when you got finals and things. Uh, for professors, it's kind of the opposite of that. It's actually uh, the busiest time is about a month before the semester starts because it's when you got to do all your planning. Uh, but anyway, uh, that uh, should be stabilizing and be able to get more episodes out. Really want to get to 500. That is the goal. And I could not get there. I uh, will not get there without your continued support, uh, supporting this show. So thank you so, so much to everybody who has stepped up to the plate, who has helped me fight off all of these rats over the years. Uh, if you uh, are thinking, man, you know, I like to support this guy, uh, keep these shows going, you know, help Matt get to 500. Uh, go to that link in the show notes to the Patreon site, and you can sign up. Uh, you can pay a monthly subscription. You can do a one-time uh, payment. Set that up however you like. You know, I don't want anybody to feel, you know, pressured or feel like another one of those subscriptions that you forget to turn off or, or whatever the case is. Case may be, guys. If it's a buck, five bucks, ten bucks, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, I appreciate it and thank you for that. All right, uh, what about the news from the Met Cave? All right, first off, I forgot to thank a new Ratron. <laughs> uh, Peter S. Peters. Uh, so thank you very much, Peters. And if you want to be as cool as Peters, again, go to that link in the show notes to the Patreon site and become a Ratra. Yes, you can be a member of the Rat Slayer Guild. Also, you can get on this Discord where you get to meet people like Sobchak, who uh, gave me my first news item. So Sobchak posted about this, at Tom, A-T-O-M, R-P-G. If you like Fallout, I don't know why they're classic Fallouts. <laughs> you definitely want to check this out. Uh, anyway, this is about a uh, tr true to grad. And the release date has been revealed, and that is uh, September 13th, 2021. So just right around the corner. And if you haven't been following Atom, I'm not sure if it's pronounced Atom, like Atomic, <laughs> Atom. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, this was a, supposed to be just a small DLC, but it kind of spiraled out of control. Grew into a game with uh, tens of hours of content, new features, new ways to play, originally voice text quests, new skill trees, new locations and characters. You know, I get the feeling they probably meant for this to be a small DLC, but then they just were having so much fun adding new stuff, they just kept up with it. Uh, you know, I've been hearing nothing but good things about that game. You know, I interviewed the developer not too long ago. It might be time to have him back on, frankly. Uh, but anyway, that is uh, Atom RPG True to Grad. True to Grad, sorry. Uh, and then the second item, uh, Nox Archaist, uh Mark, uh, or Mark of Nox Archaist was actually here in the Mad Cave. And let me show you uh, what he gave me. He gave me this book, uh, Nox Archaist Book of Hints. And I mean, this thing is just beautifully produced. Of course, I have the box copy uh, of the original game. Uh, sitting over there, but uh, you know this is something new. It's a, you know, it's a great clue book, just like the ones you remember <laughs> uh, from the Pool of Radiance. It's actually better than those because uh, this one's spiral bound, so you could just, you know, I think they should always be spiral bound, so you could set it, you know, somewhere. Uh, just an excellent production. He's got this. He's also got a book 
called The Making of Nox Arcaeus, where he talks about, well, <laughs> go figure, the making of Nox Arcaeus, how he made this thing. I'll read you a little bit about this. Uh, Mark talks about how making of the game began as a childhood dream and ended with the first commercial role-playing game released on the Apple II in 30 years. He also has this uh, hint book, and both of them are $21.95. You can get those on the Knox Arcaist website. Strongly suggest you do. I mean, uh, Mark is definitely the kind of guy we need to be supporting 100%. <laughs> uh, you know, if you don't support these guys, uh, they, they just don't get to continue making this cool stuff. So uh, I always just say, even if you're, maybe you don't, you don't have time to play the game right now or, or look at these books right now, you know, I get that. But uh, on the other hand, <laughs> Uh, you want to, uh, you know, support these efforts because uh, it's really, really important. And people like Mark, uh, you know, they, they need us <laughs> in ways that, you know, the bigger companies and bigger studios simply don't uh, don't care, right? So I think you get more bang for your CRPG buck uh, by supporting uh, people like uh, Mark and Nuxer Case. Uh, and then finally, uh, here's a post again from uh, a Discorder, uh, Myco or Miko, M-I-C-O, uh, posted about Wasteland 3, Cult of the Holy Detonation. Now, this game came out, is going to uh, come out <laughs> October 5th. It's going to be on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. And it is the second and final narrative expansion to the award-winning uh, Wasteland 3, which was, to my mind, one of the best CRPGs, at least in the you know, in recent memory anyway, <laughs> it just way better. I mean, I expected a lot, but this, you know, I, I honestly, I thought it was much better than Wasteland 2. You know, I even like, even like the add-ons and stuff in the, you know, <laughs> even little miniatures are big. I mean, that's a big honking miniature. <laughs> uh, but anyway, back to the, uh, this, uh, Cult of the Holy Detonation, you know, it kind of reminds me, what's that Planet of the Apes movie where they have those, uh, uh, they're, they're worshiping the bomb. You remember that one? It's not the first one. Uh, I think it might be the second or third one. Uh, anyway, you should definitely watch that that whole series of movies. <laughs> well, it's taking me forever to get to this uh, news item. Okay, uh, this uh, Cult of the Holy Detonation it um, expands the Wasteland Three experience with entry into the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, crammed with new characters, enemies, challenging combat encounters, powerful new weapons and armor. Your squad of rangers will be tested like never before in objective-based encounters that put a creative spin on the already deeply tactical turn-based combat. Yes, yes, as they face overwhelming odds, they'll need to shut down reactors, clear event systems, <laughs> engage in defensive countermeasures, all of that, much more stuff you can read. And it's only going to be $6.99, so wow. Definitely want to pick that up. And You know, I know people, some of my friends have already played that Wasteland 3 uh, game three or four times at this point. It's almost... You know, they're really eager to get their hands on this expanded content. So I think this will be a big hit. Uh, and six ninety nine. dollars I mean, how can you go wrong with that? So definitely check that out. Cult of the Holy Detonation. All right, so I think I'll, that'll do it for this episode. Uh, let's wrap it up with a quote. And I was looking for quotes about righteous righteousness. You know, I'm going to go along with the theme of the, uh, the game. And I found a really... Great quote. I, I think this is just so profound. It's by Blaise Pascal. You may have heard of him, a famous, uh, I guess, philosopher, mathematician, if, I, if memory serves. But anyway, the quote goes something like this. There are only two kinds of men, the righteous who think they are sinners and the sinners who think they are righteous. So ponder on that and see you guys next time. Now. Oh. That's just what they'll be expecting us to do. <laughs> <laughs>